Welcome Lost to another episode. Radio. Up again a little. Yeah, I forgot. I, forgot. I was waiting for the ball. Call radio. <laughs> well, welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I'm your host, Young Slim. And I'm Kim. Today is... It's August 26th again. This is our second take because I kind of fucked up the time on the first one. And we didn't really get to talk about everything we wanted to talk about. So, so we had to re- restart everything. We just so. restarted a new one. We had... um. Uh, Missouri, I don't even know. Yeah, big, big, big Missouri. Yeah, shout out to Missouri. Uh, yeah. Shout out to um, what's his name? How do you say his name? Again? Tatanka, Tatanka. Tatanka. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's Tatanka or something. Tatanka. I, Whoever he is from St. Louis, Missouri. Louis, yeah, thank you. Let's applaud him. Thank you for calling in. The and second time he's called in. <laughs> He's a, different, he's a different dude. He's he thinks different differently than we, than us, doesn't make his opinion wrong. It's yeah. Just, you know? Yeah, it's just a different guy. Different he's guy. Different. different guy. He sees the world differently than we do. And I respect it. I respect it. <clears throat> I don't have to agree with everything that everybody says, but I respect it. Yeah. But, um, okay. So, uh, well, let's talk about the, do you want to get into the NBA? The NBA. NBA we can. The NBA? We can. The NBA. The, all right, so the NBA postpones all games after the players refuse to play over Jacob Blake's shooting. The NBA mm-hmm. announced it will postpone all three games scheduled for Wednesday after the Milwaukee Bucks wouldn't take the court because there was a shooting 40 miles from their home field. So once they, the Milwaukee Bucks started it, they were playing the Orlando Magic today. They refused to take playoffs. the field for, yeah, in the playoffs. Okay. Game five of the playoffs or whatever. They refused to take the court today. And all the other teams, like, kind of stood with them in solidarity, I guess you would say. And they had no word. choice but to reschedule the games. Okay. Cause, okay. Because they're like, this is ridiculous. Negroes refuse to play. If something needs to change, like. Negroes refuse to play. You know, these basketball players are hitting these, um, hitting them where it hurts the most. In the pocket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're they're blowing billions of dollars like by not said, playing. Maybe that'll make a difference though. Like maybe that's maybe they're trying take. to change. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe maybe these freaking uh, ballers, not the ballers, but the owners and these TV networks. <clears throat> I doubt it. The Jews. Yeah. The Jews. Maybe they'll understand that when they start losing money. These. Their, their brand. Their brand. You know what their brand is? The NBA is a brand. Yes, it is oh, a absolutely. brand. Absolutely. But who makes the NBA? The people. The people. Not just the fans, mm-hmm. but the players. Majority of the players are well, African American. The players and they refuse are to play. Tired. There is no game. So. Nope. If we don't play, you have no product. You can say your team is worth five billion dollars, but if you don't have any niggers to play on your team, right. Your team ain't worth shit. <laughs> your team is worth five dollars. <laughs> yes. Your team is a pickup league. Yeah. Okay. A free league. So these guys refuse to play. But you know, just give them all a round of applause. Exactly. These protests aren't working. Like we got well, people. People are getting smoked left and right trying to protest. This is not. This protests are not doing anything. They don't care. Donald um, Trump doesn't care. The mayors in the cities where the protests are going on really, really heavily don't care. They're just like, yeah. They care about the go. property damage. They care about the property damage. They care about the lives of certain. At and, this uh, point, I'm uh, not even sure that they care about the property damage. They're just like, let them burn it all down. We'll rebuild it better. It's almost like that's what they feel like. They, they're like. But. So niggers won't play. And when you have niggers not playing, if you were if you were the owner, yeah, it's hurting their pockets. Yeah. It's hurting these, it's hurting their, their TV deals. Yeah. So They're losing when you money. start doing things like this, right? What's going to happen? Change. Is it going to change anything? Oh yeah, when you start hurting people's pockets. In the beginning of the protest, that's when there was mumblings of change because it was hurting businesses. They were affecting. Mm-hmm people's pockets. It was affecting businesses. Now, the NBA, which is one of the biggest money makers in the world, the players are refusing to play because of 
all this nonsense and nothing is changing and everything's still the same. Like it's yeah. ridiculous. It's still, like, people still getting shot in the back. Innocents still getting shot in the back. Protests still going on. Like so I told nonsense. these basketball players, the nigger basketball association, the NBA, <laughs> obviously that's what it is. The nigger basketball yeah, association. It's not the white ones. Standing no, it's definitely there. not. Might be standing, my kids can play. They might be standing together, but. Yeah, they're sitting together, so I don't know. I ain't gonna fucking do that. I'm gonna say the nigger basketball team, <laughs> which is AKA the NBA. <laughs> and these brothers decide not to play. And they're gonna kill they're gonna kill the the uh, T V deal. They might know, lose a TV deal. Because you two. know, the NBA is not gonna let that go for too long. They, they can't. Let, so they're gonna have to so can the NBA force change in this country? Can the NBA mean. I, so, are so, they big so, enough to make something change? Because they I already lost so. a lot of money today from not think, playing the game. I think so. And how long do you think they're going to allow this to go on before they're like, all right, enough is enough. Like, do arrest something. the cops. Do something. All right, arrest the cops, we need, we need and We need our players back. Let's just treat these African Americans like humans and arrest the cop, all right? Make it a law. You shouldn't have shot the nigger. <laughs> you shouldn't have shot him, okay? Make it a it's law. It's on you, dude. We can't lose billions of dollars just because you feel like shooting niggers. Yeah. You know? I mean, is that what it is? Is that what's going to happen? Because that's what I want to happen. That's what it feels like is going to happen. If they refuse to play, like, all right, we're not going to play. We're not yeah. playing. We're not playing. We're not playing until these motherfuckers. Canada, like, everybody was standing in, together with them. Like, you Don't know you what? dare say solidarity. That's why I Don't it. you I dare say solidarity. All, right, all, right, all right, together. So yeah. better. They were standing together with them. Like, you know what? This is ridiculous. Enough is enough. Like, when is this going to stop? All right. Like, they're all right. right. Until, the until, is right. Let's go. Until we get justice in this country. Until and we get changes. treated like American humans. Like, 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 we're supposed to be Americans, right? Citizens, until we're treated yeah. like humans, until we're treated like Americans, yeah. and so you say that we are. We say we're Americans, right? You're American, but yet, therefore, but the yet, Constitution applies to you. But yet, the Constitution is only to put us in jail. The Constitution is only meant to put us in jail, but not to protect us against. Right. Violent criminals, a.k.a. Whites. the police. No. no, not whites, but criminals. Criminal acts, I'll say. If a criminal act occurs against me, you try to justify it. You try to besmirch my, 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 my whole life. You yeah. say, I, I did this in the past. I did this in the past. I did this in the there past. There was a gun on his front seat. Oh, he had a gun five he, years ago. He had a knife. Oh, he slapped his girlfriend 15 years yeah. ago. He's a domestic violent gun-toting bastard. Yeah. He deserved to be he shot in the back seven times. Like, That's what they're doing. Mm-hmm. That's what they're doing. They're That's using the media. The media they're using the media to paint in a narrative for and I feel, the police. I feel bad because Missouri is like kind of, well, ex slavish. He's like, his view is one sided because he's like, God, you know, they'll have their day in court. They'll have their day in court. The yeah. investigation will come out if they're good, if they're innocent. The investigation he believes will prove in, he they're... believes in the judicial system yes. still. Yes. He believes in the Constitution, which has failed us miserably. But the sad part is, I've seen too many stories and movies and shows that are based on people's true lives that show that the Constitution, the lawyers, the judges are not on your side. No, they're not. They're not. The, the cop shoots, all right, you cop, mm-hmm. me civilian, mm-hmm. me black, you white. Right. You shoot, you shoot me and it, it, it violates everything that says that I should not be shot in that circumstance, all right? Right. right. But yet, the Constitution. They use the Constitution and to their media. No, hold up. And their yeah. power of uh, influence in the media to justify why they shot me. Right. But yet they let you walk free. You get a paid vacation. Yeah. Oh, uh, administrative leave. Administrative leave. Slap on the wrist. Hey. Yeah. Right. Like go so sit at home pay, for a little while. Go home. Go go home and reflect on why you shot that poor nigger. Till so, till so the heat. Why that over. poor nigger is fighting for his life in the fucking hospital. Well, that's why I tried to tell Missouri on this whole thing because he's like the investigation will show whether he was innocent or guilty. I'm like he was innocent. He was they innocent. Are, you you said it yourself There's, that the man had a knife 
in his car that they did not find until after they, they already shot him. shot him. So they didn't know that there was a knife, but they're going to use that knife as, to justify as why an they angle shot on him. why they shot him. Oh, they him. saw that they saw it on the front seat. They, a knife. They knew he had it. A knife. So a he knife. Said to get out of it. So, so four cops that have guns. A knife. Yeah. So you think he's going to be like, all right, what are you going to do against me? He, I got a knife, He got up off the ground after they, they hit him in the ribs. They tased him. He got up and walked to his car to get a knife to, to stab to, to him. To take him on. Right? To take him on. Like, yeah. all right, you guys want to tase me? I know yeah. you guys got guns. All right, I'm going to my car to get a That's knife. The, Come on. You want a piece of me? Come on. I got a knife. The crazy part. Shut up. Up. They didn't what are they know. talking about? What are they talking about? They didn't even like, know he had a knife until after they, they found a shot freaking. Him. They found a butter knife under his seat that he had to butter his toes. That's fishing okay. knife. Like that's probably one of his kids' plastic Fisher Price knives. They found a knife that he had that's from toy. a store to put butter on his toast. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me he had a knife and was threatening and challenging the cops to a fight with a knife when he knows they had. Tasers, guns, and these out guns. Okay? How stupid. You know what? I'm Charlie Murphy laughing at. Yeah. A knife. All right. He had a friggin' knife, right? Yeah. He had the kind of knife that your grandma has on Sunday with the butter dish. You know, it's not even sharp enough. Yeah. Like, here, put some butter on your bread, honey. Put some butter on your not bread. Not a baby. typical butter knife that has a little bit of a razor edge. It's just an old fashioned butter knife. So, he had his car. so they're trying to tell me, the cops. And the media, the, the the you know who the J media. I say the J media. To justify, yes. The J media is trying, you know, uh, the yeah, J yeah, stands yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to tell me that they're trying to justify and say that this man was heading yeah. when the cops have guns on him, yeah. right? He's heading to his car to grab a knife uh. to. Threaten him with. And he said he's going to. They know they have guns. Majority they said just he admitted them. it. Majority they just, said he yeah, admitted what, it in what, the what hospital what a, video. What, a, what a joke. But even if he did, even if he did admit it after, I don't believe the it. Fact, I don't believe it. He may have admitted that that was his intention to go to the car after the fact. But the three cops standing there did not know that he had a knife. What he was going for. I'm going for an. I don't care. If he went for a knife, it was he like, a professional knife thrower? It looks like they it. have. Yo, yeah, listen. How can listen? How can somebody go when they got guns pointed at them to go grab a knife out of their car? It looked like he was going to hop in and, guns at them. It looked how? like he was hopping in the driver's seat to drive away. Like, like he was like, oh, let me let me get my kids out of here. That's what it looked like to me. It so, like he was trying to get in his car to, to say drive is away. Somebody's brought. Is that mine? Are these mine? Mm-hmm. It, so you're trying to tell me that the cops are threatening him with guns, and he's going to go and say, I'm going to go get my knife. Right. Who brings a knife to a gunfight? Who's going to bring a knife to a gunfight? Like, come on. Yeah. Please, uh, what, what, say, say that count again? Uh, Kenosha. Kenosha. Wisconsin. And, all right. You guys get a Charlie Murphy laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So it's unreal. Yeah. It's unrealistic. Stop trying to paint the narrative. Yes. Try to that. The these man was are, going for a yeah, weapon. He's so that was every guilty, reason. and these cops are innocent. And you know he's a domestic violence. I've heard that. I don't nonsense. care if he raped a fourteen-year-old or beat whatever. Up, killed, not killed, but I don't care if he slapped somebody thirty years ago, twenty years ago, five years ago, a, a day year ago. ago. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you it unload. It had nothing to do with this incident right you here unload, today. You unload a clip, almost. Into his back, and trying to kill this man. And you were clearly trying to kill this man. Those cops did not know when they got there that this guy had a pass. They had no idea who no, he was. They didn't know. Didn't. They didn't know until after the fact, even what his name was. You don't unload a clip into his back just because you what? Because he wasn't listening to you. Yeah, that's exactly that's, what it was. That, like he oh, wasn't listening to you. You're so walking you, away. So How dare dump, you? You're gonna dump into Seven a car. Shirt, like, and when that wasn't enough, to... Seven 
shot. They're just lucky he's still alive. Close range. And he didn't die. Like, yeah, because they would be charged with murder. They, which maybe. they should be caught, charged with murder. Maybe. But yet, you know what? Yet, the Constitution says that a cop can do whatever he wants with Val Negro. Yeah, because that's what it sounds like. George Floyd. George Floyd's murderers still aren't charged I'm with murder. Ahmaud Arbery, even though he wasn't a cop, he was an ex-cop, and it is what it is. You're mm-hmm. allowed to do whatever you want. Police officers are allowed to do whatever they want no, with whoever they want. Paint the narrative however they want to paint it. And Don't get away with write it. write the story the way they want That's to write it. I don't it. believe that Missouri believes in the judicial system and police the way he does. Like I think he does. Like stop being so naive. Like yeah. that's seriously like yeah. a naive way of thinking. Like, oh, you if really, you really think the law is on do, your side. You won't get shot. Okay. You really think the law is on your side. They got his black ass fucking Oh, perfect example. Up. Like when you were in front of the the judge and you like proved that the officer was lying, the judge said, I will not uh, Believe in proof. No, he said, no. He said I will not. Um, no, I will not. That's what he told me. That's he what said, I, heard. I will not. Believe. I will not go against an officer of the law for you. Yeah. Or something like Even that. Even though I proved. Regardless, he, he, was basically, lying. he basically said, like, I know you're lying, but I, I will know not he's go lying. I know the cop is lying. Yes. But I will not go against him. For you. For you. Yes. That's what he said. Yeah. That's let's say what was it? Trey Bosch is dirty mm-hmm. ass. Yep. Was it Thomas? Nick. Nick. Okay. Nicholas Trey Nick Trey Bosch. Decided to uh, rule in the favor of an officer. Murray, Stephen. Uh, yeah, it was something some, Murray. It was Murray, something Murray. I forget his. Rule in the favor, and this is in front of me in basically Gloucester County. Um, rule in the favor of the officer when he knew he was lying. And so you took it to trial. And everything. Took it to trial. I and proved my point. And I Trey proved said, my point. Sir, let me stop you right now because I will not go against an officer of the law. So why am I going to a trial? And that's where I'm like, all right, done. Yeah. So, so why, so why you tell me to go to no trial? No matter what I say or do, I'm guilty. Yeah, exactly. Even though I proved it. Yeah. And he came up with another lie. And the cop, the, the judge knew he was lying. Right there, that was my, uh, that's the, where the, I the, lost the, faith in, in the judicial system. Completely. I been didn't believe in it, but I, I couldn't believe it. I thought I actually had a fair shot at a fair trial. I mean, you did. You were, he no, was I lying. didn't have a he, fair shot. He, the, the cop even had his lawyer there. He didn't even have no, a lawyer. No, that wasn't his lawyer. That was the prosecutor. On his side? Yeah, that oh, was the prosecutor. We had the prosecutor fighting for him. He wasn't even talking. That was his, that was his lawyer. Yeah. But and it, he knew he was lying. The prosecutor had his mouth open like... The judge uh, knew you were lying. Like, uh, not me. Not, well, the judge knew the he was The judge lying. knew he was That's lying. why shortly after this incident happened, he transferred to Franklinville. Yeah. Conveniently, oh, conveniently, allegedly, he transferred. But that there goes my faith in the judicial system. When you right sit there, there, when the cop sits there and tells a dog face lie, he knows he's and lying. And the judge says, and I don't judge care. The judge knows that he's lying. I don't, I don't care. care if he's telling the truth or not. I'm not going to. Do I'm not going to. I'm not going to side with you, with you, you over him. Over him. Yeah. I'm not going to side with a nigger like, over wow. a cop. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't believe he said that. What kind of fucked up world is this? That's I, I couldn't I'm believe like... he said that. I couldn't believe that fucking cop's looking cop. Uh, um, first of all, I knew the cop was going to lie. But when I made him look stupid in court, I couldn't believe the judge was just like, I Whatever. don't care. I don't care. I don't care. He's an officer of the law and you're not. He's a sworn officer of the law. You're not. I'm not going to go against him. Yo, I had, I'm going to believe every lie he said. I had the same experience. Every lie he said. When I went to Basically, court with Nehemiah, because he used to, like, go into court, like, he was cool with his Camden uniform on, and the judge was married to a Camden cop, so it didn't matter what I said. It did not matter. Like, I, I straight screamed in the courtroom one day, like, you're a fucking liar, and the bailiff stood up, like, she's like, you're not allowed to curse in the courtroom. Like, I'm sorry, but he's lying. Like, she, she didn't. Didn't matter. It did not matter what I uh, said. Remember, remember what happened after that? After that happened at, at court in front of me. When I when I went to, when they tried to make me pay that four hundred dollar five hundred dollar ticket. When I flipped out, I was flipping out. Like he's a fucking liar. Yeah. He's a fucking liar, and he knows he's a fucking liar. Yeah. And then he transferred. <clears throat> never yep. saw him again. Never seen him again. Never I'm not saying he did again. it because of me, yeah. but I'm saying he transferred. Short, I'm saying shortly thereafter, never saw the man on the streets in front of me again. And then, and then the, uh, one of those white folks came out. It was like, oh, you got, you got to keep it down. Yeah. You got to keep it down. You can't be acting like this. Act like what? But that's why I'm like, he's, he's lying. He knows he's lying. He the profiled judge lying. and harassed yeah, like, me. The judge knows he's lying, but yet he just told him. me that it's he okay for this fucking 
cocksucking pig to fucking lie. And you're going to get charged. And I'm going to be charged no matter what he says. Yeah. No matter, no matter what really happened about what he wrote up. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. You can't sit here and say. That you have faith in the judicial system. How? How can you? How can you? When, when it doesn't protect the people. And for, especially certain people. I don't believe in the it lawyers. Doesn't. I don't believe in judges. They're all cahoots. They're all cahoots. They are. They're all cahoots. Oh, they all. They're all friends. So dirty. There's so many dirty ones. They are. They're all friends. Yes. They. They're all. Hey, remember Bill? We. They're all. We um, bar together. What do we call? We're. We're. They're complex. civilians. We're civilians, and they're non-civilians. So. Oh. Therefore, they'll always have each other's back because we're civilians and they're not. To, to 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 be to be honest with you, it's basically like and if that just these, like, the, the, the cops the cops cops they lie, they manipulate, mm-hmm. they they profile, they they dictate, and I've had it like I said before, I've said this multiple times on my platform, which is this barbershop talk radio, and uh, matter of fact, hit the barbershop talk radio cash app if you are listening. Support, support your boy, support your boy. Hit the button, um, cash up. Barbershop <laughs> Talk Radio. And, um, and that cash up. And also, if you want to um, buy a t-shirt, buy a t-shirt Barbershop off of Talk us, Radio store. store.com. Yeah, so, but uh, like I was saying, like, they also. Have a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. <laughs> you can get a White Lives Matter t-shirt. Or all Lives Whatever Lives, lives, whatever lives, lives you, you want to save, just hit the, hit it. Hit, hit it. it. <laughs> it's on there. So. But like I was saying, like after witnessing an officer lie under oath in court about something just to pull pull his agenda because he didn't like me, and they get away with it, and get away with it after that, so and, then, and actually have charged. the judge, yeah. and actually have the judge tell me that they're not going to believe me matter. no matter what, yeah. no matter what happened, how much proof I p- pointed out. I got, it it the, I got it with the weather. You got, like yeah. my car was off, and he's staring in my car, looking and in my you car. You asked him if it was snowing, and he said no. And you're like, yes, it was. It was fucking three thirty in the morning. It was snowing out. Like if my car was on, yeah. You no, know, there was multiple cars on at the time. Like no, there wasn't. No, there it wasn't. Was you're lying. The, you're, it you're was three thirty in the morning. There was no other cars on in the street. My like, car wasn't on. And Why were you one, staring in my car at 3.30 in the morning? After you Why? followed us from Wawa. But why are you looking in my car at 3.30 in the morning? Not just that, but he, like, circled around the whole car before. But why would you get out and look in my car at 3.30 in the morning? Because he was already out. But it. why are you looking in my car at 3.30 in the morning? He tried to say that the car was on. Right. The car wasn't on. The, the keys were out of the, the, out of the ignition. Mm-hmm. Why are, are you staring in my car at 3.30 in the morning? Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Who does that? Oh, I saw the exhaust from your uh, now, shirt. Now, I already right on. know why. I'm like, no. I already know why. I already, I know, already why. know why. because I already know. I already knew it. My parents' but, next door neighbor was this guy's uncle. He was their nephew. And he, my parents' next door neighbor, who grew up with my dad, told me that this guy was out to get us. He knows that we sit out front, we hang outside in the car, and we drink. And he's like, I'm just warning you, this guy is out to get you. So well, just be careful. What kind of shit is that? That's all he said. Just be careful. What, shit, what kind of shit is that? Like, he was intentionally trying to, like, set us up somehow. I don't know. You, but when you're staring at somebody's car. Don't make me get the dogs out here. Get the dogs out here. Like, you like you're some ball. kingpin or something. Yeah, okay. Get the dogs <laughs> out. Said, like, Go ahead. Get the dogs out. I should have been like, yo, get out of my face. Wake your sergeant up and get him out what do you here, want? please. First like, of all, like, what do you want? And and then you're like, he's like, I'm gonna have to take that six pack. You're like, uh, no, I just bought that. You should take the open beer, but yeah. you're not taking the rest of it. He's yeah. like, yeah, well, that's what I meant. I just need to put something with the open beer in, like. Like really? It's ridiculous. Like the keys weren't. Aren't any in the nation. What are you driving? I wasn't driving. I was, driving. I was sleeping, actually. chilling. But whatever. Anyway, that's just what happens with fucking. But I have no fear. But the, I proved that he was harassing me. I proved that I wasn't driving. I proved that. It was snow out. So it was snowing be outside. In the car. So it's not. He, yeah, it was a snowy day. The car was off. So he couldn't see inside. He wiped my he window off that, to look in my car. He didn't know we were in there. Like, it was no, snowing. He was harassing me. Yeah. Harassing me, stalking me. Yes. But yet I prove it, and then yet the cop, the uh, but the fucking uh, 
the judge is like, ah, I'm not going to believe you over him. Yeah. I'm He's not gonna a say cop, I, God damn it. I'm not going to side with you over an officer of the He's law. He's a cop, nigger. Yeah. Niggers <laughs> lie and cops don't. You don't stand a chance regardless yeah. of what you say. So we're like, wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's Why what are you said. wasting my time? Yeah. Why not even take it to trial? Mm-hmm. So, Missouri, we have no faith in the judicial system. I don't. I, I see why you do, because you never dealt with boy. any situations like boy. that, but yeah, uh, you, maybe it's not like that up in Missouri. Yeah, when you, when you have house privileges, dirty south when, when niggers have house privileges, <laughs> when niggers have house <laughs> privileges to the big house, you know, things like that, you know, I understand why they want to you know? suck up to the fucking man. Massa. Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do what Master said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything will be okay. Any you master. Hurt, yeah. All if master. If he does hurt you, you ask for it. If, <laughs> it, if, it, if Master hurt you, if Master hurt your ass on you. Yeah, you do good. Master's a good man. If Master hurt you, it's on you. Now do what he says. No matter what he says, do it. And if you don't, if you, if you don't, you deserve the if punishment. You do, if you didn't do nothing wrong, the law will protect you. Yeah, right. Okay, please. I don't know what. Please. Where, maybe a please. Missouri. No, hell no. Them slave states, those niggas down there are completely well, different. You say he's just Them a good old boy. Them southern niggas are good, either a good old boy. He's just a good old boy. Like he, he gets pulled over. He said he had one ticket in his whole life. He he's gets like pulled I had over. One ticket. He has his hands on his wheel on his window down like, yes, master. Yeah. Whatever you say, master. Anything you say. I'm a good old boy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a previous house You want me to get out of my don't, car don't, and, don't, and don't, kneel don't, on the mm, ground? Yes, sir, master. Mm, don't bother me. I, uh, go, why aren't you shooting those niggas that just shoot uh, each other? Shoot each other. Yeah, that's what he was basically saying. Yeah, because he kept like, bringing up Chicago. There's 1,400 and 81 people dead in Chicago because they keep killing each other. Well, I don't know why they keep killing each other. I, I have no answer for you. I don't like, either. I don't know what's going on in Chicago there, but I'm not speaking That's about Chicago. That's not justify why these fucking cocksuckers are fucking still harassing, brutalizing, I can't, harming, I can't shooting, justify black killing. and black crime, but... That's the first thing fucking uh, the man Everybody says. wants to say black on black, black, black. black What about black on black crime? What about black on black crime? Yeah. Okay. There's more what about black it? on black crime than there is anything. All right. Fine. Shoot. Sure. But Maybe. But that's not what we're talking about. Negroes shooting Negroes are prosecuted. That's okay. not what we're talking yeah, about. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the non-prosecuted ones, the, not, the non-prosecuted police officers that are shooting innocent, unarmed, unarmed people, folks. Like we're that's not, what we're talking about. We're not talking about the crazy white man that attacked a black cop with a knife. He deserved to get shot. Yeah, he, asked video. he asked for he it. He deserved to get shot. He asked for that. Yeah, like, we're not talking about. How would you attack a fucking cop with a knife? Yeah. Like, why would you fly? Plus, you already knew he was armed because you just stabbed a 77 year old man over a mask. So you knew he had a weapon, first of all. But why would you do that? Why, why, why would that Negro do that? That was a white man. What? That was a white man shot by a black cop, a black female cop. The like, video that was that a white was- guy? Yeah. Wait, the, the guy? The guy that was going like this with the knife that was attacking. Oh, the white guy was attacking, had the knife? Yeah, it was a white guy. Are you attacking. serious? Yeah, that was attacking a black female cop. Oh, okay. And we're like, oh, that was justified. Like, he attacked her. He deserved her. to get shot. Yeah, I thought that was a black guy. No, he deserved to get shot. So he thought he was just going to slice himself some fucking nigger. But he just stabbed a 77-year-old man over a mess, so they knew he had a knife. Okay. They already so knew he was armed. All right. So what and was the purpose? And when he found him, he, he like him at her and she shot him like yeah. nine times or something like that. Well, nine times? Something like that. Because she shot him like a couple times yeah, she, and she didn't stumbled. Have to shoot to kill him now. Well, she shot him a couple times. He like stumbled back but got up and kept on coming. Was it terminated? Yeah, you saw the video. He got up and kept on coming and sh- she shot him a couple more times. They fell down to the ground. Which that was a suicide. I get that. Like that was, I, a, that was a suicide mission. Justified right that was there. A suicide. Like, what are you doing, dude? What are you? What is wrong with you? If somebody's physically coming at you with a weapon, that's a different story. Okay. Why would not walk not when I walk through with a I think that nigger has a weapon. Oh I think God. that nigger has a weapon in the car. I think there's a weapon in the car. He's heading for his knife, and I have a gun. So soon he makes one step towards his car, I'm gonna let him have it. Matter of fact. Let me take this knife off my belt and throw it in this car just to be sure I don't get in trouble. 
what, uh, he said fucking, um, something, uh, Missouri there. What the fuck? I just lost my train of thought. Let me slap it in. <laughs> I forget. I forget what he said. Um. What, you talking about Missouri? Mm-hmm. About what? What did he what, what did he say? What did Missouri say? What did that fucking uh, guy say? What did that? Oh, I gotta yes, What did he say? What did that guy say? Was he the one that didn't abuse abortion? No, that was the black conservatives. Oh, that was all right, all right, all this right. This is right. the guy after the black conservatives. Okay, okay, okay. And now they call it. We just trying to end the show. We just trying to end the show. We got another call calling in. Damn, what the fuck is that? Well, whatever, say? whatever. But anyway, I'll think about it. But let's get back to actually why these fucking uh, NBA players are just not going to oh, do it. Oh, oh. This is what I was thinking about, but Brianna Taylor, he said that because the cop accidentally shot her yeah. in the other room, uh-huh. that it was justified because it was an accident. Uh-huh. It was but, an if, accident. but if I put my gun out right now and shoot you and I accidentally shoot the man upstairs or somebody in the next room, it, it was an accident. No, yep. it was considered murder. Yep. But because they did it, it was an accident. I would say it was more like, uh, I would say... Uh, not homicide. I would say it was more uh, manslaughter. 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 But yeah. I think what they did because it her, wasn't intentional. I, I think yeah. that they I didn't think, go I there with the did, intent to kill her. I think I don't know what the hell with Breonna Taylor is, but I know it's either murder or um, it's nothing because those cops are being caught, charged. That's why the city be. is in uproar because. Uh, and they can tell who killed her too because they 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 got the bullets they from the the bullets from what was the fatal shot and everything from who what, what gun it came from and everything. They know exactly who so killed her. Why 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 isn't there any justice on her? They're not. They're, being, you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to they're trying to. Um, they're not being. They're trying to dis, they're trying to make it out to that Breonna Taylor was this and Breonna it, Taylor no, was no, that. No, they're they're not being charged because the media said that is doing it. It was an accident because. They came there looking for her boyfriend, and when they kicked the door down, her boyfriend opened fire, so they were justified in firing back, and uh, she got hit in a crossfire. Uh, she was an innocent. Okay. Uh, she was an innocent bystander. She was an innocent bystander that okay. got hit in a crossfire no, no, no. because her so, boyfriend so, 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 opened fire opened on them. Fire, opened fire on a, when they came into his house. When they kicked the door down, Into yeah. his house. He's defending his unarmed house. Unarmed at that. Unarmed. I mean, on un, ununiformed like ununiformed people came <laughs> unannounced. Plain let's, clothes, let's, yeah. let's not just get that. Let's not get that messed up. Unannounced. Unannounced. They did not say. <clears throat> Raid. Warm. This is the police. Open up. Yeah. They kicked in the door, went Plain in the clothes. fourth floor, and then when people started dumping at them, yeah. they want to shoot back. All right, she got killed, but don't act like you don't have to be. Uh, take take responsibility for your actions. No, no. Where is the Constitution for us? That's the why Constitution needs to be ripped up and rewritten for modern times. Whatever city she lives in, that city is in uproar right now. I think it was. I think it was uh, where she, okay, where she live at? Yeah, oh, um, Miss um, no, Louisiana. I don't know. I don't know. What fucking. I don't know. It just said that there were seventy one people. Re- Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky. Another Seventy-one people were Dickens arrested Another time Dickens in Louisville, like because they're continuing to protest over her death of when you not they're being charged. Now they're arresting them. Now people? they're arresting them. Seventy-one people were arrested. Wow, they're still out there today. Good for them. Yo. Seventy-one yo, people. Applaud them. Applaud them. Applaud them. Applaud them. Applaud them right now. Applaud them. <laughs> They killed an innocent good woman. A first responder. I don't care if it was a straight bullet. Like, like. It wasn't straight. They shot her a bunch of like times. Like Missouri said, if I'm outside of my house and I'm shooting and I hit somebody upstairs, like, it's murder. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter if she's in the back yeah. room. Like, yeah. But for, yeah. for cops, it's. It's, it's not. It's There's a different set of rules for these fucking clowns. It's a mistake. These fucking cops. Yeah, suckers, so man. they're out there still I'm protesting. I'm done with these fucking pigs, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I've been done. Cops are. Trash. Then, like, you can't. Ah, uh, not a trash, but she used to be one. <laughs> it was different times. Like, uh-huh. you can't obey. Uh, uh, and that nah, went to his head nah. quick. Quick. Yeah, he used to be like, ah, super my quick. My husband's a cop. No, I actually did that thing. My husband's a cop. I used to hide that thing. My like, husband's a cop. So, like, oh, what is he telling me? He's a cop. Yeah, right. Like, what? Like, 
My house is a cop. I'll have your head for this. He's a fire tended cop. <laughs> <laughs> he got fired he with the rest of the trash it. down there. Yeah, you loved it. Nah, that, that you shit loved was just yourself hate. being a cop's wife. No, that shit, no, not even a little bit. Yes, you did. That shit yes, went to his you head. Did. That shit went to his hey, head. So fast. Well, you know you fucking liked it. You know you did. It'd you be know the you same did. if you ever became a cop. Uh, the me. Power. <laughs> <laughs> the power. The power. So you think? I'm a civilian now. I was so, like, what? So you think you, I'm? A, you're not allowed to hang out with me because I'm a up. civilian. So, so hold on, hold on. So, we're, so what you're saying is, if you think I had a gun and a badge, regardless if I had a badge. So you think if I had a gun, because that's the only thing that gives them the power. The ba- What's the problem? The, the gun or the badge? I think badge. I what's 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 the bigger issue? The gun or the badge? Both. I think it comes hand in hand. Yeah. You can't have one without the other. Yeah, you can. You can have a gun and not act like these fucking faggots. Well, look, no I'll tell you, my ex tried it. His gun, off duty, and they're like, we don't give a fuck. You ain't a cop here. Like, it don't matter. But when he was on duty. Trying to get into duty, a club with, a, with yeah, a gun. But when he was on duty with his badge and his gun, he thought he was the shit. Okay, so what's what, what what's more corrupting to them, the gun or the badge? Maybe the badge because you know how many I think times it's the badge. you know how many times he pulled his badge over because he was going 120 down 42 and they mm-hmm. pulled him over and he showed his badge and they're like okay go ahead officer go uh, on your way officer have fun matter of fact make it speed to 150 speed to 160 <laughs> yeah, like go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. have have a good old time. Be safe. Yeah, put your seatbelt on. And he fucking five slammed his. Wait, were you in the car with him? I was in going there. that fast. Oh, yeah. You were in the car with him going uh-huh. that fast. Uh huh. He's. With the in and out, he fucking flashes high beam and somebody was in the fast lane and didn't move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, oh, go, oh, oh, oh my god, go faster, faster, faster. I like it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. He was one person before he became a cop, and he was another person after he became a cop. And how was he after he got canned? After he got canned, I, I couldn't tell you. I, I didn't know him after he got canned. Okay. We had already parted ways after he got canned. Okay, okay. But before he got canned, yeah. He thought he was shit. Go, go, go. You're a cop. You can do whatever you want. Let's race. He thought he was go. shit. Let's let's go. Let's see how it is. I think it's the let's badge and the uniform. The badge and the uniform. Because I told you, like, well, we went to court. This motherfucker showed up to court in his uniform. <laughs> Not even on duty. He wasn't even working that day. everything. Get up. Fucking shoes on. <laughs> Shined. Face properly uh Good. shaved, yeah, hair <laughs> cut and everything like like he just got off duty or something. And the judge I'm believed it. All nighter. Yeah, the judge believed it. Like excuse me, uh it was a, a lady judge, I forget her name. But he's like She like, shit on you. She did, she shit on me big time. Because she was married to a cop. So I'm like, just because you're married to a cop doesn't mean they're all good. Is that he's not is good. Is that what you said? He's not good. You didn't say that, pussy. Yo, you didn't say that. I was screaming. You did I not say that. Say that. No, say you that. didn't say that. I know you didn't say that. <laughs> but I was screaming like, that's a fucking lie. She's like, you're not allowed to curse in the courtroom. I'm like, I'm sorry, but he's lying. And she's like, I don't care. You didn't fill out your paperwork, so you're not allowed to talk. I'm like, what? What paperwork? No, I guess like. Oh, no, we don't gotta get into that. That's like when you file. When you file, that's like change subject. You have to have a counter. Like you have to counter it when he like. Let's take it off track. Let's take it off track. And and I I didn't respond, so I wasn't allowed to talk. I'm like, I've never been in a courtroom before. I didn't know. I don't know. I don't have to. I'm representing myself here, okay? Uh, Oh wow. I didn't know, but she's like, he had full floor. Mm. He had full reign, and I just didn't stand a chance. So, you still, you still. Is it the gun or what? What entitles these fucking the cops? The, the gun or the badge? The it's the badge and the uniform. It's the badge. The badge and the uniform makes them think that they're superior to everybody yes. else. Yes. And they feel like they can take anybody's life. Yes. If they want to. Because I know this this guy like had told me once, 
uh, he tried to bring. We're gonna name this the gun or the badge. We're gonna name this. Is it the gun or the badge? What makes these people? What makes these officers think that they have the power to just smoke? Kill with impunity. I can kill you if I want to. It doesn't matter. Mm. If you even make a move, if you even look like you want to hurt me, if you even think, if I even think that you think you want to hurt me, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to get away with it because I'm a fucking cop because I have the badge. Perfect. The badge yeah. protects me for killing you. You're black ass nigger. Uh, yeah, I can kill you, nigger. I can kill and you, I'll nigger. Get away with it. I'll get away with it every time. You know why? If I'm not even in my own town, I can kill okay. you wherever I want. Yeah. I can kill you twice on Sunday in your church, and I can say that you made me fear for my life, and I will fucking kill you, nigger. Perfect example, right? We're that's going they to say. The, we're that's going that's to the Eshlam Mall. That's, that's okay. what's going off in their head when they kill black Listen, people. Listen, we're going to the Eshlam Mall one day, right? And I'm like, what are you bringing your gun for? We're going to the mall. Like, you don't need your gun at the mall. Oh, hold up, hold up. He brought his gun to the mall. Yes. I'm like, what are you bringing your gun for? We're going to the mall. And you said this to him. Yeah. He said, because I'm required. If if somebody's robbing a jewelry store, I'm required to act. So if there's somebody robbing a jewelry store and I don't do anything, I could lose my job. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that's okay. why you're bringing your gun to the to the mall? So you need to bring your gun to the mall in case somebody robs the jewelry store. You yeah. have to step in. In right? the mall. In you the mall. You have to step in, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Neo. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like, what you what you going to Delphius? Keep, you, keep I'm going. like, so, why are you bringing your gun to a Delphius? So, when people that don't know what a Delphius is. So, he's trying to bring his gun to a club. Yeah, I'm like, what are you bringing your gun to a club? Are you asking this? Yeah. Are you asking this? Oh, yeah. Oh, because, same thing. If anything pops off, he's required to act. You don't even work in this town. Were you guys going by yourselves? Yeah. I'm Just like, you and him? Yes. Going to a club? He would have his badge on his belt. And his oh, on the, other loop. the badge. His personal belt, not his work belt. His Jeans belt, you know what I mean? Oh, his black belt. His Levi's belt. His Levi's belt. Yes. The so he brought he belt. brought his gun so and his badge to the club. When the Delphi the He club. brought his gun and his badge to the club? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 We don't need you to You're not coming in, go put that shit in your car. But he went and put the gun in his car. He actually, had it on his, he actually had to have it on. He had it on his hip. Oh, yeah, he had it on his hip. He, he had the gun on his, on his hip with, with the it. gun on his hip. Yes. With his badge. Yes. And was playing on drinking. Yes. And they told him, no, you are not a cop in this town. We don't need you to have it. <laughs> <laughs> You are not coming in here unless you go put that in your car. So he went and put. Why didn't they? Do you know what they should have did? They should have called the cops on him. They went. Well, he wasn't cops, so he wasn't. No, no. They still should have called the cops on him. He went and put the gun in the car, but kept the badge on. All right. Did they let him come in with the badge? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not a loaded weapon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow. Put the gun under the seat and kept the badge on. You know, tucked in. Was it, was it, was it, what is police issued badge? So, did you guys dance that night? <laughs> so, did you guys, oh, wow. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty geeky. Yeah. So, did you guys dance that night? Yeah, I think we were meeting people that he worked with from Camden. So, you guys were dancing. So, was he grinding his badge into your butt? As he, oh, or you guys dance like, uh, white folks? I don't know call. Probably like white folks. You don't dance. Probably I can't like see folks. you dancing anyway. He probably just sat at the bar and drank. Ah, ah, okay. All right. So he was still rubbing his. <laughs> was he gr- was he grinding his gun into your back? <laughs> no, because he had to leave that in the car. He didn't want to bring that in. Was he dr- Hey, dang! Your gun is sticking into my hip. <laughs> he wasn't allowed to bring that in. So, so you saying the badge just make makes these people animals? I think it's the badge, the badge, and, and, and the uniform. The uniform, the, the badge uniform, yes. makes them feel like they're invincible. Superior, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I wouldn't even say so much the gun. I I think it's the uniform makes them feel superior. And then when they throw the badge on top of it, they're they're special. They're so special. They're above everybody else. Hmm. The gun is just extra. Oh, well, okay. But that's what that's the, that's the most dangerous part. Which, yeah. You know what? I don't know which is more like that's that good enough a good question. Which is more dangerous, the badge or the gun? Is is it the is it's obviously the badge because the badge makes them feel like they can do whatever they want. The badge is what lets them get away with whatever they want. 
Yeah. Well, tell them about how. All right, all right, they only right. recently started pulling. I know this is off track recently, of what we were but... talking about, but tell them how his badge got you off of what you did. Tell oh. them what you did. Oh, yeah. Which time? Speeding. All right. So I was doing like 90 down the White Horse Pike. And then what? Like 90. It was like at 35. Okay. 90 to 35. Yeah. Okay. And, the, and the cop pulled me over, right? And I gave him my FOP card. And the cop was like, he took my FOP card, he ripped it up, and he said, like, I don't care, blah, 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 he gave me a ticket anyway, so I called him on the phone, like, hey, you know, FOP card, you they call, don't have you to, call them? yeah, they don't have to honor it, it's supposed to be a courtesy, they don't have to honor it, All right. it's just supposed to be a courtesy, like, if, if Neo was supposed to, pull, like, allegedly pulled over one of their family members, he'd want them to let them go, it's a courtesy, uh-huh. Uh-huh. They, not a, they don't have to. So this guy ripped up my plastic FOP card. Ripped it up. And it was a good one. Not ripped a it. not a paper one. It was a good family FOP card, a plastic one, laminated and all. He ripped like, it up. Yeah, right, how you do that? He ripped right, it up. Right. right? How you do that? I right, right. On the phone. Like, yeah. Officer such and such and high Nella just ripped up your FOP card. He said, What? I'll call you back. He called his sergeant who called the Hinella guy sergeant. Why you still at the stop? Oh, yeah. Why you still stop? Oh, yeah. It became a big old thing. And the Hinella guy comes back to my car like, I already wrote out the ticket, so I have to give it to you. But he's going to come to court, and you come to court, too, and I'll make sure it gets dropped. So we, we go to court, and the judge was, like, mad because everybody in Hinella court was there for speeding, and they were all getting, like, three points on their license, $300 fines and stuff. I go up in front of the judge, and the judge is like, I don't know what you did. You must have twisted the prosecutor's arm or something, but the tickets dropped. Like, you have no court costs, no nothing. And I smiled. And he's like, you think that's funny? You think that's the laughing matter? I'm like, no. He's like, I can send you to uh, driving school. <laughs> <laughs> Came back. Uh, a club. Remember, we went to a club. We went to a club. Yeah. 
So we went to a club. So okay. I get in my car. She, I, I left my car in front of her house. So I get in my car. I go to drive home, and I'm fucked up. Like, fucked up. I can't even see. And you my, decided to get behind the car. Yeah. Like, I couldn't even see the, the, the street lines. I couldn't tell you if they were yellow, white, or purple. I'm just driving. Driving. I get on 42 somehow, and a cop pulls me over right next to Penko Tech on 42. Here's a running meat cop. Right, and he pulls me over in Blackwood on 42. He was following me the whole time from Runnymede to Blackwood. And then All right, like, so about how far is that? How about how far is that? Uh, um, five miles? Nah. From a little bit past how my mom's house. How far did you get? All right, from your mom's house to where? A little bit past my mom's house to Penko Tech on 42, right next to Penko Tech. Uh, so about so he followed me through Daffer all the way up through Daffer. Five miles, five miles, close to five miles. Something like that. Apparently, he was behind me the whole way. I had no idea. Following you. Couldn't even tell. Like, I couldn't even see. You couldn't even see. No. Just drinking and driving as usual. Yeah. So he pulled me over. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm going to jail. Like, I have my phone out. About to call Cop X on speed dial. Like, yeah, you're going to have to come. You're going to have to come bail me up because I'm getting arrested for a DUI. Like, it's it. Like, there's no way he can't smell it on me. I was drinking shots. Like, I'm fucked up. Cop comes up to the window. Like, where are you coming from? I hand him my FOP card. He's like, I'll be right back. Goes back, runs my name, comes back, says, have a nice day, and hands me my shit and leaves. And I'm like, oh, my God. How the fuck did I get out of it? Like, I know he smells the alcohol on me. And he said that. He's like, you, I've been following you since running me. You've been swerving in and out of the lines. Like, have you had anything to drink? I'm like, no, sir. I handed my FOP. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> my fucking looks at it and says, have a nice day. They had it right back to me, like, be careful. I'm like, oh, my God, how did I ever get out of that? Like, you oh didn't get out of it. Like, you're, you're cop privilege. To that day, I swore I would never drive drunk like that ever again. You know, I was so fucked up instead of because we were staying in La Cascada at that time. Uh, which was the uh, next uh, exit, uh, which uh, was uh, the next exit after Panko Tech. I was so fucked up, I missed that exit. And then I was going all the way down to the next exit after that and having to cut all the way back through. Like, I was so fucked up, I didn't even get off the right exit. Oh, wow. All right. How about, all right, give us another one, one more, without getting too graphic of what you did. I think that's about it. Of my, what I mean, what my, I, what's your, yeah, just two drunk, my glory two drinking, days. Two, uh, speeding and a drunk driving <laughs> ticket. my glory days. A, a, a speeding and a drunk driving ticket? You got better than that. Come on. Okay. You got to have better than that. Yeah, there was a... It was, he never got you out of no real trouble? No. No? No, I never really did anything like that. Ah, you want to talk about how your brother stole his gun? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, that's not talking oh, about that. Oh, God. <laughs> how about how his dad, who was a cop, got him out of a gun charge? Ah, that was a lighter charge. We don't say his name. But, but they charged him with a weapon, though. All right, go ahead. They, they gave they, him a weapon right, this charge. This is cop privilege. This is different cop privilege. But go ahead. Go ahead. Shoot. Yeah. This is where... Don't right. say no names. We'll say I was going to the doctor. You say his his father. I was pregnant with my daughter. We're going to the doctor, and um, we're driving down the street. You're I'm pregnant? Like, Yo, yeah, I'm like eight months pregnant. We're going to you're like a is doctor. This, is this like, your first or second child? First. I right, feel so like oh, we're gonna be a family. I got, yeah, oh, I'm in my Wawa uniform. I, I just got off of work. I right? had a cop's baby. Yeah, okay. She wasn't. She wasn't a cop. Yet. I wasn't even a cop yet. No. Okay. Okay. I was in my but his office. dad was a cop. His dad was. His dad was. His sister was a dispatcher. His cousin was like, it was inevitable. All right, so you married into a family full of cops? Never married. Yeah, you were. No, never married. Yeah. Never, never got married in my life. But anyway, we're um, we're driving down the street to the doctor's, and back then there was like. This was like two, to the mic. This was back in two thousand. You know when the lighters that look like guns were cool when you're lighting a cigarette and it looks like a gun and you pull the trigger and a flame comes out. They were cool back then. So somebody cool. What year was this? Like two thousand ish. All right, early two thousand. Yeah. Okay, we'll say two thousand. Yeah, yeah, two thousand, two thousand one. You know where I was at? Prison. Yeah. Slammer. So anyway, somebody cut us off on the Black Horse Pike. We're going down the Black Horse Pike. We're going to make a left on. Evesham Road to head to the doctor in Somerdale. 
Oh, you have to go to the baby doctor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If someone cut him off. Got head, baby. Someone cut him off. Yay. So this motherfucker like pulls up next to the car, pulls his gum lighter out, weighs it like, <laughs> like he's tough, like trying to show the car next to him, like yeah, you wanna fuck with me? He'll cut me off again. What? Keeps on driving. Hold on. Hold on. Then you get the Charlie Ray right Lambert out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, hey, so you pull up to a car and cut him off. It's a red he, light. It's a red light, right? And, and he waves so his we gun lighter. Next to the red light, and he's. Sh- who shows his gun lighter to the car like, and cut yeah, him off. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's problem here? No, he it's problem pulled, here? He actually pulled it up. Like, it's a problem here. Like, see? Well, I got I, a gun. Don't cut me off again. I got a lighter. <laughs> if you want smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you need a light. So nasty. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. We continue ahead. and make a left at the Bucket light. Corn ball. The car, The car that cut him off was going straight, actually, right? Okay. I wasn't paying attention. Apparently, he wasn't paying attention. The car made a left, too. And started following us. Mind you, was on 911. Calling the cops. Nigga got, got a gun. Got a gun. This nigga fed me with a gun, goddammit. Yeah. And it was on the phone with 911 telling them. Following like, you guys. Yeah, yeah, following us. Like, they're going past us. What is that? Wherever, wherever they go. Wherever they go. They're going. going down here. They're going down here. Before we hit the White Horse Pike, 10 fucking cops surrounded the car. 10 cops. Get on here, get out of the car, get on your knees, get on your knees. I'm like, oh my god, what is going on? I'm pregnant. Like, oh, what's happening? I'm about to have a baby. What is going on? Like, I'm on the fucking ground. Like, what did I do? What happened? What did you do? Like, I'm about to pop. Like, we're going to the baby's appointment. What are you stopping us for? Like, like Mind you, so they didn't arrest me. They did him though. Right, but so I rode with him, and they had. Oh, so you got the car, the cop car with them? Yeah. Why'd you get the cop car with them? How else was I gonna get out of there? Uh. So they you, took us back to front of me because that's where the incident. He was driving. Why didn't couldn't you drive? I was too far along pregnant. Once you're too far at a certain point, you're not allowed to drive anymore. Who said that? That's the rules of being pregnant. Never heard that. Yeah. Once you hit like eight months, you're not allowed to drive. In case you go into labor while you're driving, you're not supposed to be behind the wheel. All right. So, anyway, I wasn't allowed to drive. His car got impounded anyway. They impounded the car? (laughs) Impounded the car. He impounded the car. For flashing a lighter. Yes. Okay, okay. So, we ride back, and this happened in Runnymede. Take us to the Runnymede police station. And I'm sitting there. Wait, what cops came and got you? It was Runnymede in Somerdale. All right, all right, all right. Runnymede, Summerdale, Longside, they all came. They came but with the gun. But Runnymede took them. Runnymede came with the guns drawn. Oh, yeah. Runnymede, Summerdale, and Longside. Oh, all came, like, came with their they guns. They all fucking, like, we're driving down the guns street. Guns ablazing. After the, with, sudden, the car, with the car that was following you still following you? I didn't even know they were following us. Oh, see, that's just like, not aware of your surroundings. Yeah, like, I didn't even know they were following us. I would have noticed that. Like, I would have noticed that. You didn't notice it either. I would have noticed that. You didn't even peep this car if following you us. you fucking follow me, I would have fucking noticed I know, because I've seen you turn off a couple times. Yeah. Like They've been following me a little bit. Way too long. long. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even notice that. That car is way too... Far. I'm too paranoid for shit like that. Yeah. Go ahead. These fucking cops just came out of nowhere and, like, just fucking cut off the right, left, back, front of the car. Like, they all had the car surrounded and they came out with guns. Like, get out of the car! And I'm like, I'm pregnant. What are you doing? I don't deserve this. What are you doing? What did you do? <laughs> all right, so what happened? So the get, comes, to the, get to the gift part. The Runway comes to take him. <laughs> They take him. Yeah. But you're in the car with them? Go with, yeah, because they... I mean, so you're arrested as well? I wasn't arrested. I just rode. I wasn't in handcuffs, nothing. I so just were got you, a in ride. The back, you were in the back with him? I just got a ride, yeah. Okay. So he was in the back. Crying? Was nah. he crying? Nah, not yet. His nose was running? Nah. Was... He, he wasn't crying until his dad got there. All right, all right, all right. All right, his dad had to come? Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Because they had him in cuffs. And Wait, they had a... How old are you guys? I was 17, about to turn 18, so he was 19, 20. <laughs> 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 that was his first major, his first major arrest incident. Trying to be cool. 
Okay, you got okay. the fucking gun down in Wildwood. The gun lighter down yeah, in Wildwood. Yeah, that's what they're selling, yeah. that's what they're selling that. Like, one day, walking on the boardwalk, drunk as hell, like... So, he's sitting there. They had him handcuffed. You know, like, the benches they have? They had him handcuffed to the benches. Talking to the mic. We're on the, we're on the radio here. Yeah, they had his feet shackled to the benches, his hands shackled to the benches. All right. And he's treating him like a nigger. Oh, treating yeah. him like a nigger. Uh, yeah, and his dad comes in, throwing a fit. At him. Not at him, no. At the cop. Oh, yeah. How dare you, know you, boy? How dare you do this to this boy? Yeah. But talking, anyway. talking to the cops like that. Yeah. Talking to the cops like that. They let him go, but they charged him with a weapon. He had a weapon charge. They still charged him. They charged that? him with a weapon. Because he had to get it expunged to become a cop. Ah, so they did charge his black ass. Yeah. Ah, he yeah, had to okay. get that, that charge expunged off of his record. Before he became a cop. a cop. He took the civil service test. The first time and failed. failed it because of that incident. Okay, so he failed for having. A he lighter. charged him with a weapon. Charged him with a weapon. Yeah. And a, a weapon as in what to cause bodily harm. I'm not a sure exactly in, what it was, but I know it was a weapon charge, and he had to get it expunged off. So, how did his dad get him out of this trouble? His dad came in, went in the back room, and cursed out the other cops. Yeah, for, and then like, they came out like, fucking with my son. And he came out and unlocked him. And he's like, let's go, boy. He stomped out of there like, oh, yeah. come on. He falls behind. And he says, so dad, I was trying to be a gangster. I was lighting a cigarette. I was trying to be a gangster. I was only lighting a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting in Newport. I said, 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 I was yeah, they are. They are the chronicles. chronicles of police. Of you. Police. Uh, of getting preferable treatment as a. Yeah, uh, you know, it was pretty bad when I didn't get preferable treatment anymore. So I really got to experience what it was like. Oh, to be a, uh, a regular civilian. <laughs> yes. Oh, I actually kind of sucked. I'm like, I wish I had my mm-hmm. FOP card. Back. I bet you do. I bet you do. Oh, like the FOP card is one of the best things I ever made. Because anytime I got pulled over, I just flash it out the window. Like, have a nice day. Uh, nice, no matter what town it was, they see the FOP card and they would just turn around and walk the other way. Like, sorry. I'm a, I'm, sorry. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a wife of a cop. It had to be the laminated one, not the paper one. Oh, please. The, the laminated one is for family. The paper one is the ones you for get for friends. friends. Yeah. yeah. They didn't care about the, the paper one. Had to be the laminated one. Yeah. Your husband was a cop. So, the laminated one, and then after we split up, I'm like, I actually asked him for an FOP card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't you got any more of those FOP cards? He said, cards? fuck you, bitch. He actually did. He gave you one? Not in so much words, but he did say, fuck you, bitch. Did he say, fuck you, bitch? Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Fuck you, bitch. You're not getting the FOP he, card. He actually said I don't Go have any more. Go to jail, anymore. ho. He said I don't have any more, but uh-huh. fucking lying. Uh-huh. There ain't no more up in the cabinet. I can I have a family member? Hey, you don't got have a family card? Can't you ask for one? <laughs> can, you, can, can you copy me one? <laughs> Can't you make a copy of one? Could you make an exception for me? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I already gave them all out. Mm-mm. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but then right. when I really like got to, and when I really got to experience what it was like to live life without an FOP card, it sucked. <laughs> it uh, sucked. You know how many tickets I got on my record now? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. You're horrible all driver. Those, no, I'm a good driver. I doubt it. But all these what did you say? I'm a great driver. <sighs> We're impressed. That stuff would just be like, okay, go for insurance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now they actually charge me with driving with no insurance. Uh, Charge me with driving on suspended licenses. Uh huh. Treating you like a civilian. Yeah. 
Well, well, that's okay. All right. Thank you for sharing. I'm Thank you for sharing. Now. Anything else you want to uh, put in? No, I'm Anything still. you want to show and tell? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, How much time we got later. left? How much time we got left? All right, we got right, something might come later, I, but that is. I, a, you uh, that, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Your, uh, 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 your your this chronicles is, with. Uh, this is all my chronicles under the age of twenty. Mm-hmm. Before I even fucking turned twenty-one, like I wasn't yeah. even old enough to drink yet. Before all this happened, I was thinking um, so we went to the milk bar one day, and I was. You know, the, the milk bar, which is a club, is an underage club. Me, I think I was 16. Uh-huh. Drunk as fuck. Drunk at 16? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So you weren't? Oh, I'm, I'm not passing judgment. Yeah, drunk I, as fuck, I kicked out of the club because I fell dancing. You fell down the so, steps. No, I was so fucked up. You like, fell down the steps. And I just fell like a retard. Like, and I just fell, and the bouncers kicked me out. Uh, cause you're Not just me out, but they kicked me and everybody I came with out. You're sloppy drunk. And um, they... We didn't even make it like, it wasn't even a half mile. Wait, down who drove? Who drove? I don't know. It was either Neo or friend Taz or Tim or something. Somebody drove. There's a okay. bunch of us used to go together. All right. But, um. All right. Anyway, so it wasn't even like a half mile down the street from the milk bar. You can still see the milk bar. Like, it was okay. literally right there. All right. The cop pulls us over conveniently. Yeah, they pulls saw you us leaving. Over. They saw you all, they saw y'all niggers leaving. I'm drunk. They're all drunk. You weren't driving, were you? No, I wasn't driving. I don't even think not. I had my license yet. No, no, no. You're still in third grade. Nah. <laughs> yeah. But, because daddy gets us out of that one. Oh, his father. Yeah. Got you out of that one? Oh, yeah. Then there was another incident in, in an apartment complex he lived in where somebody called the cops. The cops came and I was fucking, like... Drunk again? Drunk, yes. I'm, like, you crazy drunk. drunk. You still get drunk and... Crazy drunk to the point where the cops, like, took me out on the steps. My parents were out there. I don't even know how they got there. Who called them and how my parents even got there when the cops were there? Because when they were like, how are you? You come with me. Now, when I walk out the door, my parents are sitting on the steps like, where the fuck did y'all come from? <laughs> so, anyway, they're sitting there, and this nasty, this cop was fucking rude and ignorant. He was yelling at me, so I was yelling back. And he choked me. So I screamed at him, like, get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. So he, like, grabbed my hands and yanked me down three flights of steps and put the handcuffs on me. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know I can put you a juvie? You know, I can put you in juvie. I'm like, go ahead. Go ahead. Put me in juvie. Go ahead. He lets me go with nothing. Of course not. Did you hit him back? I wish I, I should have. You're a fucking I pussy. I in his sandwich like a Oh, God. Life. That's dirty. Yeah. That's nasty. He came in a that's wawa. Just, that's just poor customer service. Yo, his sergeant. That's just poor customer service. That doesn't count for nothing. <laughs> his sergeant did, was did standing you, right did there. Did you or did you not hit him back no, when you I choked you? No, I did it. I did it. You let him choke you? What did you do? You're like. I like no, it. I just said, get the fuck off me. My mom was there. My dad was there. His sergeant was standing right there. Nobody did anything. Did he choke you? Like, like, no, he choked me with like, two hands. Like, like, seriously choked you? Because he's like, if you don't knock it off, I'm going to arrest you. Because I was like, out of control. Wait, wait, so where was everybody else that was in that oh, they party? Were, I guess they were in the apartment with the rest of them. I was the underage drunk. Okay, so... I was the only one underage. What what made him choke you? Because I was nasty and rude. What, what do you mean nasty? Were you he, showing your ass? I was. Or you... He said, were you drinking? And I, I don't know. I like probably got nasty back with him. And then uh, I just remember he choked me. Put both hands around my neck. I hard yes. choked you? And I'm like, get choked the, you? To the point where I'm like, get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. So he grabbed my arms like this. And it yanked you me the... down. Yanked me down three flights of steps. Yanked you. Like, yanked pulled you down the steps. Like, pulled me. You fucking bitch. Yeah, come on. You know like what it's that, like if you. Yeah. Like, pulled you down. Like, come yeah. on. Motherfucker. Yeah. You know what it's like if you. Is he choking you? Or did he choke no, you? No, he at already the same stopped choking me. He, you? he stopped did, choking me. Or did he just like, pull you? Get the fuck off me. Wait, so he chokes you and then pulls you. Because I thought I was tough back then. Why didn't you bring it out of I showed up. I probably would have got away with it. You but I thought I was tough back then. I'm like 17, and, I, and he choked me. I'm like, get the fuck off me. Get off me. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> he grabs my arm, and he drags me down like three, you know, Southland, yeah. 
Wait, wait, wait. Did you hit the steps? Like, no, he pulled my arm. He pulled or my arm. He's just steps. walking with him. And then he he's just walking with him. He's pulling your arm. He waited until he got to the bottom like this. He put me in cuffs. In front of everybody? Yeah. 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 Yeah
when I get taken out the door. Well, let's go get her. You want? Let's go get, get that blonde bitch before she gets pregnant. Get that blonde bitch out of that Negro's house now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's the only thing I could possibly. It probably do. was. I mean, they called diapers on me and everything else. So. They called diapers on you too. Yeah, I would be shocked if they fucking called the cops. Wouldn't be the first call they made. They called diapers on me too. They called diapers on you. That's a story for another day. Yes, my mom but, called diapers on me. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. It almost cost me my children. Mm. Mm. In a way, it did cost me my children. My mom's just fucking animal. Uh, well, maybe she thought that she was the only helping. She thought she was, but it only backfired on her. Why was she trying to... Oh, well, we'll get into that later. The Chronicles of Kim. All right, well, let's finish this off. So let's we can watch white words. I, I still can't believe it. Uh, you know, you all that white cop privilege you have. Yeah. You should be proud. You should be proud of it, you know. Oh, I am. I'd be in jail right now if I wasn't for my white privilege. I wasn't with like, first. Neo? No, I was, no, 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 I wouldn't say just Neo, like, Hold up. my white Yo. Yo. I don't know. Yo, call in, bro. Call, like the, call, the, call, the, the, call, call the show, bro. I'm about to, we're about to be, hang up. Call the phone. <laughs> call the show. Call the show. We're still doing it. Yeah, yeah, I got to say, like, my... White privilege has gotten me out of a lot. Gotten you out of a lot, right? Yes, but it's also not gotten me out of a lot, too. Like what? What what, what has it gotten you out of? Uh, a lot. Oh. Remember, um, I was about to say, Kelly Teller, why'd you hear my story already? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mom already heard it. Well, I mean, what, what has actually happened? Uh, you were in the car with me one day when I lied about where we were going and you gave me a careless driving after he searched the car and swore I had something on me, you had an open beer sitting on a seat, and he didn't yeah. even see it because he was so... I don't know so, how he didn't see it. Yo. He was so, like, he swore I had something. And I did. He just didn't fucking... Know what he was looking at. He didn't know what he was looking at. Yeah. I mean, it is what but it is. But I got a careless driving for that. Yeah, well, you were being stupid and lying for no reason. Here, let, let's make a phone call. Oh, actually, we can call. It's a number. Right here. I don't don't say it out loud. Yeah, I got Roger. you. Actually, I should know it. Like, it comes up, I always say it. Of course, you should know it. Let's call. Actually, we should make a prank call to this number. Yeah, we probably should. Hello? 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 He's a little late there. Yeah. But that's all right. You can get into fucking. Black privilege got you out of. Uh, I don't have black privilege. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's me. Yeah, yeah. It's the shit out. You're a little late for the show. Man, man, right? what happened, bro? We've been waiting for you, bro. You, you got on? You got on? Yeah, yeah, we're on. I'm calling you right now. We've been on for like an hour and a half. Yeah, we actually been talking to, like. You gotta listen to it. Tim told some uh, war stories. Right. What were we initially talking about? White privilege. No, no. Uh, right we were there. talking about um, the cops, the Taylor the cops, stuff, the cops, but cops shooting us. Yeah, but we didn't know. Like, get into the whole Brianna Taylor story. Yeah, uh, what yeah, happened? So, because yeah. Missouri kept cutting you off, so we don't really know what happened with that. Yeah, go 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 into what you were saying about the whole Brianna Taylor, the new the new findings of what they're trying to uh, the agenda they're trying to push. Missouri, can, yeah, Missouri can cut me off, man. Yeah, he did. Brianna Taylor, Brianna, they're trying to say that Brianna Taylor was involved or conspired with these criminals that they had under investigation. Okay, Brianna Taylor was supposedly dealing with one of the guys, one of the main drug dealers in the case, and she also was allegedly supposed to have bailed out his co-defendant. Now, it was on the wire talking to Brianna from, you know, from jail to the, from, from jail to her house, you know, about random stuff. And they also got that on, you know, on, on, on the wire. And okay. they got Brianna. They got Brianna saying 
that, or no, they got the guy saying that he gave Brianna eight thousand. She should have the eight, this, that, whatever, and that's the money. That's the money from the drug proceeds. You know what I'm saying? So after he said that, um, that happened. No, before he said that, before he said that, Brianna got killed. And they checked the house and they didn't find no money. They didn't find no 8000 They didn't find no drugs. They didn't find anything that they was looking for. It was a, it was a no knock warrant. It was a no knock warrant that they had obtained, and the judge signed it. So, so basically, they're trying to say they lawfully entered her home because they got her conspiring with these alleged drug dealers. Wow! Now they're looking. Now they're looking for the guy now, because the guy, the guy. Um, he jumped. He's supposed. He's so called had jumped bail or something. And is, is, is the guy the one that 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 was in the shootout with the police? Is that is wait, that the one you're talking about? Or it was her boyfriend. Wasn't was it her boyfriend? I yeah. thought it was her boyfriend. Or her. They're yeah, saying. They're saying. They're saying. They're saying that, that it was her boyfriend. Or slash, you know, you know how you know how you got a friend and that you you know. Maybe they was in a relationship before, and they did, but they remained friends. They're saying it was something like that. A boy that she was affiliated with that was in her house. Yeah, a guy that a guy that yeah a guy that she still sees, but she's yeah. not she's not attached to. But they was in uh, her house, and that's who they were looking for. Was that, that, right? That's allegedly, who, that's allegedly who they were looking for. That's why they raided her house. Yeah. Right. They got Brianna. They got Brianna saying on the wire that she she dropped something off at the trap house. She no, she said she dropped something off at the trap. Which which is referring to, you know, a drug house. So that's why they raided Brianna's house. Oh, because she's wow. dropping stuff on the trap house. Is that? Is, do you believe that nonsense, bro? Do you believe it? It's the narrative of the man. That's the picture they're trying to paint. So the city stops riding over these cops not getting charged because they're not charging these cops. They're not. They're, 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 they're scot free. Regardless of what these ago. people burn down, they're not charging these cops. They're free. They're still cops, and they're not going to charge them. Even if, even if this guy was under investigation, even if the guy was supposedly be a drug dealer, doesn't matter. The cop, it doesn't matter. The cops, uh, the cops went into her house and, and shot engaged her. in a gun battle with him. With the man with the register pistol, unannounced. Exactly. But back then, no knock warrants were allowed in that in state. That was this year. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying in in her state, no knock warrants were allowed. But they you, are you no longer allowed. No knock, but you still have to announce who you are. Well, you, you can't just point. kick in the door and wave in the four four and not really? say who you I are. You, you have could. to be like, boom, the police. Really? That's the first thing they well, have to say. Isn't that the boom, point of the no knock? No, no knock. We don't have to knock. She had. Like, she had a. She had a gun. She had. She yeah. was a registered. They have to say. They have to announce themselves. Okay. They have to announce themselves. Okay. Boom. You think they would announce themselves that this guy would have to like that? No, 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 no. You think if they announce themselves, that Brianna Taylor is still alive? You think they open like? They didn't announce themselves that her boyfriend or the guy, whoever he was, defended his house as he has his right to do. But according to them, with his pistol. That they he were justified because he started the shooting them. He started shooting because he thought this house was being broken into. I mean, if somebody kicks right. my door down right now, shooting. like, yeah. Hey, without you know this. Police. You know this. You know this. Missouri, the Missouri man didn't really have too much to say about Brianna Taylor because, he because, because that's, that's what he stands for. 
That's what he stands for. He stands for, listen, he stands for, you know, if if that would have happened to him, he would have did the same shit she did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And well, he would have died Jordan, in a hell of bullets. He would have died in a hell of bullets. Man, that would have never happened to him because he's a, he's a, he, he listens to the master. He listens to the good old white man. He listens to master and he obeys master. And no if, matter if what. he doesn't obey master, the law is going to get him off. He yep. believes in, in the, the, the Constitution needs to be rewritten. And, yep. and when he goes to court, it's going to come out that he was innocent. Yep, that's what he thinks. But he's silly. Silly man. Silly, 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 silly man. Silly man. Silly man. But he did, that's the one thing he said that he did not agree in the Breonna Taylor, the no knock warrant. But he said that she was an innocent bystander. And that's when you try to say, like, yo. If if I started shooting in my house and I killed a man upstairs, is, is it an accident or is it murder? Yeah. He said it's murder, but for the cops, it's considered an accident. Yeah, an accident. Yeah, yeah, oh, fuck that shit. Shit. yeah exactly. Because they killed the man in the next room. They killed the girl in the next room. It's crazy. It's crazy. You went in there to get one person, a violent person, even though he didn't deserve to and die. All open but fire. you open fire and you kill an innocent person, but now that innocent person has a background, I don't care what they did. They weren't like, come on, stop it. That's why they're lighting the city up. Yeah. <laughs> this is the nar- Listen, I, I don't agree with it either. This is the narrative they want to paint. Because they want to, they want to, they want to label Brianna as a thug now because she was yeah, full with drug dealers. She did. She didn't deserve. They're trying to shot justify, in her own crib. They're trying to justify the cops killing her so the protest, the protest stopped. That's all. That's all that's about. They're trying to stop the people from burning the city down. <laughs> Yeah. So, now what you say, Tom? My bad. I said they can't through. You're breaking up. What, uh, you're breaking up. What'd you say? Cap. Cap. Oh, it's breaking up. You're breaking up, Tom. I said they canceled three baseball games. Oh, oh shit! Oh, for real? Uh, baseball too? Baseball as well? We know the NBA. Yeah. Baseball. Yeah. Wow. Good. Maybe that'll actually do something in its world. Let, 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 let's see. Like, yeah, man. Let, it's enough is enough. Let's start hitting them where it hurts in their pockets. Like, come on. Because that's the only thing they're going to respond to. If, if, if yeah. we're not going to respect the city town ain't working, hit them if, in their pockets. If, if they're not going to respect the fact of peaceful protest, then we're going to have to get them... <laughs> We're gonna have to get them word like we're her, and the sports athletes have the power to make a difference. Yeah. Well, well they, they'll just not play until uh, these these freak shows, the or the freak show is arrested for uh, shooting. That they the, want the, the young man's They name? want the police brutality to stop. It's not that's not brutality. Because that's, that's why that's it murder. Was, uh, that's murder. Milwaukee Bucks. They didn't do it because it... Uh, no, no, what's the young man they shot seven times? Jacob Blake. Jacob Blake. And so the, 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 the shooter of Jacob Blake is arrested, and maybe even Breonna Taylor. I mean, something I mean, has to happen. Because they're arrested doesn't mean anything. They still haven't charged George Floyd. Yeah, if you're arrested, much. you're going to be charged. You have to be charged maybe, to be arrested. Maybe, eventually. That's, they get charged. Somebody that's, still is six months to be indicted. That's if the justice system is on their side, and they don't find a way to get out of it. They're, they're going to sacrifice the, that, that guy, that, uh, the dude that killed uh, George Floyd. They have to. They cannot get off. He he cannot get off. Period. Okay. Now, so Ahmaud Aubrey, those guys, mm, I don't may, know. No, the one was manslaughtered. Uh, no, because it was premeditated. Um, he kicked him when he was already down on the yeah, ground. Kicked he him in the head. Yeah. So, now, what about was, the young man? What about the young man to talk about what's his name? Um, there's Rashard Brooks. Uh, Rashard Brooks. That's what I'm talking now, about. He's that, the one yeah, that yeah, yeah, kicked yeah. him he, in the head. Yeah, he they, they might not get off either. So well, I, I don't no, know. No, just the one cop because after I he think, shot him, he kicked him in the head. I think I think. Uh, I think what this what happened to um the young man um and Jacob Blake Jacob Blake I can't I can't remember that what happened to Jacob Blake I think it's worse at that close of a range I mean I don't care what Missouri was saying Unarmed? he was going for a, he was going for a knife he had a knife in his car 
the cops did not know that man had, had, had a freaking travel ball. knife under his, in his glove box. And so after and they nobody's shot running him. to grab a knife to fight a cop. And so okay? after, they didn't know that until after they and shot that, him. And they tried to use that as an excuse. His, his, his car. Yeah. Oh, he has a knife. So what? They tried that earlier, though, because the guy across the street who was recording him said he never saw a knife, never, ever, ever. But after they punched him in the ribs, tased him, the other cops said, he's got a knife, he's got a knife. Yeah, so they tried to justify it right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he tried to justify that shit. Out of their pocket. Yeah, like, they pulled, they, somebody pulled their own pocket knife out and threw it in his car. Like, look, he's got a knife. There's a Swiss Army knife under the seat here. This is what he was going he was for, going guys. For the this is what he was going for. This is what he was they going fight. for. They don't fight. They don't fight. They don't fight in Missouri. They don't fight in Missouri. He's like, oh man. If, if I get into a fist fight, I'm, I'll try to kill the motherfucker. Yeah. You hear that fool? Cotton picking. Yeah, I didn't call him oh, cotton picking nigger, man. Yeah, that's the difference between the free states and the slave states. Yeah. Yeah. That is. It is. They still got that slave mentality. They still got that slave mentality. All you got to do is obey the master. All you do is listen to the good old white man. You know, everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. You know, yeah, right. It's on my lawn, and, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I listen. I can finally whistle at a white woman. I can start a business. I can get a loan. <laughs> so, we, we'll see. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Tell me why. Tell me why he was so pro police, though, man. Like, oh, big time. I don't know. Oh, not just pro police. He was pro like white. The judicial, pro system. judicial system. Yes, because he's like, if he's innocent, it'll come out in the investigation, and he'll be proved guilty in a court of law. He was trying to shit on black cops too. Like he was just so <laughs> not just like black people Female in general. Black cops, but and black. But he's like, in Chicago, there's 1,481 people dead, and that's from black people killing black people. And we're like, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, though. he had all the statistics. He had all the statistics. He did have statistics. He did. He did know what he's talking about, but the fucking... Yeah, he believes in the judicial system. Like I said, we have no faith in... The law and police. We just don't believe in the. We don't believe in the the Constitution is, um, as it opposes uh, as it. Um, it's never worked in our favor. It doesn't. It doesn't work for us, bro. It doesn't. It's not for us. Not it needs to be rewritten. Anyway. It does. It needs to be rewritten, redone, and let's see if it. Would you say you need to make black a, a law? Yeah. Being um, black a law. Legalize being black. Yeah. They legalize. Have, like, Legalize being black. Because at this point, the police all act like it's illegal to be black, and they can execute you at any time they feel like it you know, and get so, away with it. So after you hung up, he said something like, um, when you're telling him uh, about what's going on, he's like, well, what are you doing wrong? Talking to Jeff, like, what are you doing wrong? He's like, nothing. I was just born he said black. That, he yeah, that's what he said to me. Yeah, he's like, well, what are you doing wrong that that you're experiencing all this stuff? And he's like, nothing. I was just born black in America. like. And he's acting like it's something that black people can um, avoid. If, they just wow. listen. If, we listen, if we just listen. Two things that we're just hard-headed niggers that don't listen to the cops and we get no what we deserve. And we have no respect for authority. Instead of, hey, we're being harassed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. He, I know. He was saying it was like it was our fault. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he believes that. I think and he, he honestly believes, believes that. that. He honestly yeah. believes that. Because, like I said, that might be what it's like out in Missouri, but <laughs> it's not like that out here. Because when you told him you are like racially profiled, you're followed, you're harassed, he's like, what are you doing then? What are you doing wrong then? You told him that too, Kim. Yeah. You told him. You told him it ain't like it ain't like this out here. No, it's not. Not at all. Like I don't know what his life is like down there. He said he only got one ticket, his whole, one traffic ticket, his whole life. Well, he got then, one ticket. That's like, well, you must be a good old boy then. <laughs> <laughs> 
He must be. He said, I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, crazy. Yeah, he must be, man. He must be. Sorry. I thought, like, yo, all those southern slave states, these Negroes act different, bro. Completely yeah. different. Yeah, no. They're just, no. they're just so... They're so endearing to their oppressor. And the they're so endearing yes. to their, 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 to, to, to their. But they actually the believe that the police are the, the. the here to help us. Yes. Since what, cops have stopped but being here to help us be all. for a long time. They, they, they're not here to protect, serve and protect. They're here to harass and profile. Not here anyway. Right. I don't know. I can't speak for down there. But it's all good, man. It's all good. Yo. Yeah. Why did you wear a 76ers coach? Yeah, let's get into that. What's up with Brett Brown? Why does why, why does Sixers fire uh, Brett Brown? Oh, uh, he was awful, man. Is that why? You Brett? agree with it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was the best thing they could. They need to get rid of um, Brand too. Who? They need to get rid of. Oh, Elton Brand. Yeah, Elton Brand. Yeah. They should have got rid of him. Yeah. I think yeah. That's a, I think it's a, Who they hire? I didn't hire. They didn't make a hire yet. Nobody. So they just got rid of him because he sucks. Yeah, because they got swept by the Celtics in those playoffs. In this bubble. Yeah. Game. Now, the like, bubble playoffs? Back to your mm-hmm. corona lives, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you got kicked out of the bubble. Yeah, you're out of the bubble, bastard. The bubble that's refusing to play now. Yep. Yeah, the, Brett, the Brett, bubble is a lockout. Brett Brown, Brett Brown was 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 there for what, like four years? Longer than that, bro. He's been there for like. I want to say close to almost fucking 10 years. Yeah, but when's the last time the Sixers have actually done something? Last year. <laughs> really? Yeah, they made it, to, almost made it to the uh, almost. Eastern Conference <laughs> champ. Almost. <laughs> when's the last time they actually made it to? Uh, I want to say when they had uh, Allen Iverson. You think the Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, dog. That was like, that was like 90. That was like. 2001. 2001. That was, yeah. early, that was like early 2000. I was locked up when that happened. Really? Is that yeah. Oh, you were? Yes. When the when the when the Sixers made it to the. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And then um. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's get into it. Who's more of a? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when it comes to the Philly team, mm-hmm. the Flyers, the Sixers, the Eagles. Uh, no, yeah. What? Who? Who you naming? Who you naming? Philly. Who's more of a, a disappointment when it comes to Philly? Ah, right, no, no. She's, ask, she's not asking. She's asking the wrong question. All right. It's all right. And who was more of a disappointment? The Eagles. The Eagles little run with Andy Reid, um, from like 2001 to 2005. Um, the Sixers. No, no, no. The Phillies. From uh, 2008 to uh, 2007 to about 2010. <laughs> um, the Phillies. Flyers, the late 90s, um, with Eric Lindros and them. Or the Phillies. Or, 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 I the Phillies. Yeah. Or, uh, or the Sixers. Um, with um, Alan Iverson and uh, shit like that. Who who was more of a disappointment and let down? Which which team was too good but they still lost? Should have the, the, the Phillies. The Phillies. Yes, I agree with you, bro. Either the Eagles or the Phillies, I would say. And then I would go Flyers, and then the Eagles. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Eagles or the Phillies? Yeah. All the way. Because they had all that fucking, all that talent, all that pitching, and still lost. And still lost. Still lost because of stupidness. Before they, before they won the World Series? No, after? right after they won the World Series. And that was after. Yeah, that was after. Because they, right won, the after they won the World Series. 
In 08, they won the they World they Series. Did, they they should have won it the next year and then the next year. But really? They yes. Won and, the and the next year. And the next year. They should have won four in a row. Really? Yes. Do you think they should be like a dynasty? Mm. But for some reason, I feel like Philly teams are like a disappointment. For they fans. are. They the are. Fans they, anyway. are. Like, they are. Yeah, the, the Phillies, Phillies were supposed to repeat. Yes. They were supposed to repeat, and not only that, they should have won two other ones after that, Tone. They should have won two other after that. But it is what it is. Um, The other sports question we had was... um. I got one. Is DeAndre Hopkins the best wide receiver in the NFL? No, nah, I thought we were talking about something else. Well, I have to ask this, because right. I saw it right. on one of your so. sports shows, and, it, and on... Whatever you had on one of your sports shows, it said that DeAndre Hopkins is the best wide receiver in the NFL right now. You think so? I want to say, I want to say he's the best. I say. You're breaking up. I want to say, I want, I want to say he's the best. Say he's what the you, most productive. Okay, so what do you think? I don't think he's the best. I, I think I think it's between I think Julio uh, not Julio Jones I'm saying I, I think Michael Thomas because they're saying that he's the only one that, that's made it to four pro, pro Bowls and has made it four All Time Pro whatever that means he's the only receiver to do all that I don't know I think Michael Thomas is better than uh, him yeah but, but you think Michael Thomas is better to watch. Or you think Michael Thomas is better stat-wise? We'll see. We'll see because uh, he would. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's if the NFL joined the lockout too. Yeah, I don't know, man. All right. Well, how you feel about Earl Thomas getting released? Yeah, we didn't even talk to you about that. Um, Earl Thomas is crazy, man. <laughs> but Jeff thinks he's a uh, what do you call a Hall of Famer? Yeah, he is. You think he's a Hall of Famer? Yeah, yeah his, his play is there. He's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You like, think somebody's gonna pick him up? Yeah. Yeah. Not the Cowboys, and if they do, who cares? Yeah. He lost. His- and they're not gonna pay him not ten million. Wait, so whoever picked him up? Yeah, they have to pay him. Oh, Thomas can still play. They claim him, yeah. They have to pay his contract. But they're going to let him clear waivers, and then somebody's going to sign him. I thought Baltimore owed him $10 million. Uh, they, they, I think they do. So, do they owe him $10 million? According to Steve Nathan, now, uh, they did. Well, what happened is is that he got released. Because of something that he that he did, well, it was like this. Okay. It's like how To was when he had to pay. Yeah, but did they, did, but but did it, does the team still owe him money? Mm mm. Nah. Oh, he's wow. losing money. He's losing money. Oh wow! Holy shit! So whoever picks him up owes him that money. No, they don't. They they can sign him for whatever they want. Oh wow! So that contract is gone. You can, get him, you can gone. get him cheap. You can get him cheap. He should come mm-hmm. to the Eagles. That contract is now null and void. I mean, we definitely probably yeah. Don't let's not act like we don't have safety problems. Jalen Mills is not going to be able to play safety, dog. So we might as well add a fucking veteran safety. Why not? For cheap too. For on a low. Why not? I say. We stick what you call it back there. Rasul. Oh. Rasul, yeah, Rasul, yeah, he could probably play safety. He's a good he's a good fill in there. He just can't stay with you. He's a good fill general though. Yeah, and he can hit. But he he's mm-hmm. no shoulder around. Shoulder so, Brown is dead. <laughs> Shut up, Brown is just dead. Rasul Douglas? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? Two years? <laughs> All right, so this guy ain't going to be on the – he's not going to be a free agent for long then. Who? Al Thomas? No. All right, so let's ask. Do you think Chip Kelly purposely ruined the Eagles? <laughs> Pur- purposely? 
Yes. You think he intentionally destroyed that Super Bowl team that uh, Andy Reid had Bowl. made? Would be Super Bowl. That team. would be Super Bowl team that Andy Reid had built. All right. Um, Pam, this is the answer on that one. I want to say purposely because Tip Kelly really believed in what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? I agree with that. Yeah. From everything, from the smoothies, from the smoothies at practice, the music, the way they call plays, they never huddled up. Everything was fast paced. So I want to say on purpose, but he's yeah. an idiot. I think he. I I agree with you. I think he really believed that his college uh, mm-hmm. tricks, uh yeah, his, yes, was going to work in the NFL. Mm-hmm. That's Marco Murray and fucking your boy Sam. Sam Bradford. Mm-hmm. What do you think? He thinks it's college. That was his. That was college success. They had success in college. Do you think he purposely ruined them? Uh yes, I think. I think he purposely got rid of Andy Reid's players just because he wanted to prove that he could win without Andy Reid's players. And build his own, build his like, own all-star team. team? Yeah, but... It, but if that's the case, why did he bring in, like, Stan Bradford and shit? Because Jim? that's what he thought he could do, win without him. He thought he could win with him. He, he thought he could win without... Like a backup quarterback? Like, he thought, Sam he, could Bradford with, he, thought he could win without Andy Reid's players. That's what Sam Bradford was a nobody before. Sam Bradford was a... Chip Kelly signed was a college, Sam Bradford was a college star. Oh. That was about it. Here, let me get a beer. Do you think he was stuck on the college? The college. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly what Jeff said. Exactly what Jeff said. He was in love with with the. He was in love with the college guys. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That yeah, weren't NFL ready. That weren't NFL ready. So Marco Murray's pretty good right now, isn't he? Isn't he on no, the Cowboys? Marco Murray's retired and done. Wasn't he on the Cowboys? Yeah, he did. Yeah, one good year. <laughs> but <laughs> Kim said, Kim said the Marco like Murray's pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty good. He's sitting at home. <laughs> Watching the game <laughs> on the big screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's you think they had a Super Bowl team before he just, like, tore it up? They Yeah, they won a Super Bowl. You think they would have won? They the won the Bowl. Super Bowl after he did what he did. Two years after he did it. But I was saying, like Chip Kelly, with, with a piece of the guy, but the, the main. <laughs> piece of the guy. But the thing Nick is, Foles. yes, yes, Doug Peterson kind of rebuilt that team with Deshaun Jackson. Nick but the Foles. cops were still there. The main cops were still there. A lot of the main cops were still there. Yeah, yeah. So you think? If, and Nick Foles was the biggest one. If Chip Kelly didn't come in, that they would have won a Super Bowl a couple years ago. No. You don't think they would have won it back back then when Nick Foles was starting? Yeah, if they would have given him a chance. Yeah, maybe. You don't think they had? They were maybe, ready. Maybe Chicago might win it with, with him. Uh, Chicago might have a chance to win it you with him. You think they wouldn't? They wouldn't have won with McCoy and Deshaun Jackson and Nick Foles? You don't think they would have won? Could've. I think they could have. Give it a shot. Give it a chance. Yeah, I think they could have. What about you, Tone? Yeah. Um... I remember that day, man. I remember when they dismantled the team, and I think, oh, yeah. yeah. Awful, Horrible. Bro. We're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? What is he doing? Yeah, Jeff stopped watching football. I did. I stopped watching the Eagles that year for the most part. Yes, like, he did. I can't do it. Yeah, I remember like, you was pissed off. You was pissed. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen him, like, not watch the Eagles. He's like, I don't care. I'm not watching no more. Why would you get rid of Nick Foles like that? Like, no, I, I think no. Nick Foles. And Sean McCoy, Jackson. McCoy and Deshaun, and everybody and else. Let Matheson walk. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, that was the nail in the coffin for you when they traded and got Kiko Alonso. I remember you screaming on the phone. Yeah. Kiko Alonso? <laughs> Who is he? Fucking knee injuries for a fucking borderline Hall of Fame running back. What are you fucking doing? Yeah, I was mad, yo. He was pissed. Yeah, and he had every right to be because Kiko Alonso didn't even play the year before that. Nope. Oh, wow. So there's no reason to trade Two him. Two bad knees. Get rid of him. Two bad knees. Don't get me wrong. Kiko Alonso was a decent linebacker in the NFL, um, but he wasn't LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy 
was heading towards the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and McCoy, Deshaun Jackson, Nick Foles. I think they all were headed towards the Hall of Fame back then. I, I think Nick Foles. Yeah, Nick he fucked the chemistry the for us. Uh, you, think, you think if Chip Kelly did not dismantle that team that Nick Foles would be a starter right now? Uh, uh possibly, yeah. 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 Somebody had more yeah. time to establish himself. Yes. Yeah. Nick Foles was doing big things around that time. He was twenty-seven yeah. and two. Yeah, he led him to a playoff victory. He led him to almost to a playoff victory, uh-huh. and he was still young. And he was still young. Just coming out of the Yeah. All right, Tone. All right. All right. Yo, Jeff, on the real, Jeff. Who did who who did Foles learn off of? He learned from um, what was that guy's name? <laughs> Mostly Andy, though, because Chip nah, wasn't with nah, Chip that long. Chip. He wasn't with Chip that long, though. He was with Chip for two a year, years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Who, was backup, who was the backup, Jeff? Who was the backup? For who? Who was his mentor? Who was Foles' mentor that year? Like For Andy or Chip? Uh, Michael Vick. Michael Vick took Michael Vick's job. Yeah, he did. And then... Uh, oh, yes, he did take Michael Vick's job. And, yes. Uh, I think Matt Barkley was the backup the one year. Yeah, Matt Barkley, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember, man. It's so these years are like mis- messed so together. You think Chip Kelly like kind of ruined Nick Foles' career in a and way. And Deshaun McCoy and Deshaun Jackson. Yeah. And Jeremy Macklin. He kind of yes, like. I think he did. You think that would be in their like all star prime? I think Deshaun right Jackson now. could possibly have been a Hall of Famer. I mean, you said that back then. I think Wasilla Coy could have possibly been a Hall of Famer. And I think Nick Foles could have actually had a starting, possibly Hall of Famer. It's career. not Super Bowl under his belt. He has one at the backup. He does but know, I think yes. if he was another one, it doesn't matter if he was a backup or so not. So you don't think Deshaun Jackson and, and Lashawn McCoy will make the Hall of Fame right now? No. 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 Yeah. No. Because they were doing big things in Philly, man. Do, they do were that was like the fucking dream team back then. They we were, were awesome. like we were that awesome. was like the that dream great, team. Great, that was great drafting by I think Andy it was Reed. like everybody, every Eagle fan in the world was like devastated when Chip Kelly came in and started trading everybody. Like, what is he doing? Yeah. Oh my god, this is the fucking Super Bowl dream team. What are you doing? So do you think that we had a chance to win a Super Bowl? Uh I mean, do you think do well, you yeah. think, uh do you think that this guy's a Hall of Famer? Which one? Or possibly been a Hall of Famer? Michelle McCoy. Michelle McCoy? Do you think he could have possibly been a Hall of Famer? Yeah. Well, the thing is, Doug Peterson has tried to get him a couple times. Nah, he's on Tampa Bay now. I know, but Doug Peterson has tried to get him a couple times. I don't know. <laughs> where, uh, where is Macklin right now? Jeff. He's not yeah. playing. Jeff. Yo. Hold on. Somebody's riding a motorcycle. Hold on. Yo, believe it or not, we had a pretty decent draft that year with Chip Kelly can. What you mean? Lane Johnson? Nelson Aguilar? No, no. Fletcher Cox. Michael Kendrick. Vinnie Curry. Nick Foles. Brandon Boykin. Dennis Kelly. Is that the year Mickey they drafted? No, it was in the year Foles was drafted. When Chip Kelly came? Yeah. Uh-huh. Say that again. Hold up. Foles it. wasn't drafted by Chip, was he? No. Nah, he was drafted by Andy. That's why he said the Eagles had a good year, the good draft year, the year Chip Kelly they came. They had a good draft. They had a good Chip draft Kelly. year in 2012. But he said Nick Foles. Nick Foles wasn't drafted by Chip Kelly, though. Okay. Uh, Nick Foles was already on the team when Chip Kelly came, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he beat him out for a starting spot. Yeah, he took my spot. He beat him out for a starting spot. No, Nick Foles was like just starting to get in his prime when Chip Kelly cha- traded him. Can Can we talk about Doug Peterson? Like he's a, he's a great play caller. He's a great play caller, but yeah. We really have to give that that Super Bowl that we won to fucking Andy Reid. I mean, he went out he went out and drafted this guy, Nick Foles, in the fucking third round. It picked number eighty eight. Howie Rosen brought him back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Howie yeah. Rosen brought him back. 
and he they they kept ties with the organization. Yo, believe it or not, Andy keeps ties with the organization. Like they they talk. I mean, I mean they they. Why do you think the Eagles went and got all these fucking receivers? Yeah, yeah, bad uh, receivers. They trying to copycat Kansas City, dog. He's copycatting yeah. his mentor, Andy Reid. I'm, I'm sure. So, you know, it's kind of like you know. I remember the first year we played them. It was like the I think it was the week one opener. It was week one, and we played the Chiefs, and it was a dog fight. But they beat us. And but when 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 week one. That was week one, right? Nah, nah. That was like week two, the year we won the Super Bowl, 2017. Yeah, week two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, we beat the Redskins or somebody week one, right? Yep. We always beat the that's a, Redskins week one. That's another thing. Why are we always fucking play the Redskins week one? I think you played them this season, too. The Redskins Why? are dead. I don't know. Yeah, they're in our division. We have to play them. It's always the first game. We always have yeah, to play. Yeah, but we, we always play them fucking first, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like you play the Redskins this year? Yeah, I think it's the first game. It's either the Redskins or Dallas. There's nothing wrong with a punching bag. Started, started just <laughs> enough good. I want to start the season off. How about the year we started off? We we opened up on a Monday night in Atlanta, and Atlanta was hot that year, and we lost. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. We gotta start. We gotta start that. with. We gotta start. I don't know. I don't like start with soft teams, dog. Because then that's a trap game. It's a trap game at the end of the season. Who we who we play? Who we who's opening day? Who's opening day? Yeah. Probably the fucking Chiefs. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably gonna postpone the game, dog. Yeah, they don't like this motherfucker. Uh, protesting in the bubble too. Who, wait, who, 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 who we play? How about you go somewhere? Oh, who, who's opening the day for us? Yeah, they play the Redskins. Oh. Again? Yeah. Yeah. I- no, is it the Redskins or the 49ers? Because it said the 49ers won't have fans at their home opener against the Eagles. You sure? No, the 49ers, the 49ers are, are playing the, the Cardinals. Oh, all right. The maybe Cardinals? Wait. Oh, yeah, the Cardinals. Listen, week one, the way they got week one set up is like all division matchups. Oh, okay. All right. You know what I mean? Fucking the uh, the Bears play the Lions. The the Jaguars play the Colts. The Packers play the Vikings. The the Dolphins play New England. We play the Redskins. It's all division shit. Only person that ain't got a division game is the Cowboys. They play the Chargers and Sunday night. Yeah, I, I think the Chargers are going to be pretty special. Oh, uh, yeah, Washington football team. Yep, the Was- did you hear that the owner of the Washington football team has cancer? No, that's the coach, the coach, coach. Yeah, Ron Rivera, whoever he is, has cancer. Oh, he does? Oh, wow. Yeah, Ron Rivera. They just got him. Yeah, he's the, the fucking. They said he was he was sitting out and they uh basically they wished him a speedy recovery and oh uh, I forget who it was was stepping in his shoes. Hey, he's out for the season. Yeah, we just did it on Monday. Um, yeah, they said yeah. somebody was like taking his place while he went through whatever he needed to go through. Like North Turner, I don't fuck. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh. I mean, they wished him a speedy recovery and hoped he came back soon. Um, yeah, they play the Washington Football Team, the Rams, the Bengals, Forty Niners, the Steelers, the Ravens, the Giants, and then the Cowboys. That's and then they're on the bye. That's the Eagles' schedule. So, yep, it is the uh, 
Washington football team. Not the Redskins, the football team. The Washington football team. <laughs> hey, Cam, Cam, how about this, Cam? Oh, we got two new – we got three new coaches in our division. Okay, we played – we play the we play the Redskins in week one. Right. We don't see the Cowboys or the Giants till like November. You see the yeah, October. You see the Giants October twenty second, and then the Cowboys the week after November first, and then the All Giants right. again November fifteenth. So it's like Giants Cowboys Giants. All right, Doug Peterson. Guys, Doug Peterson is going to have so much tape. On those two teams by then, we're going to have the advantage. They're the same. Yeah. They're the same coaches. They're the same coaches. They just got different personalities. Yeah, Jason Garrett. What is? Yeah, then he's the new uh, offensive fucking uh, coordinator. J- Jason Garrett's the new offensive coordinator of the Giants. Yeah, they yeah. played Dallas and then the Redskins the last two games of the season. Those. It's Giants, Cowboys, Giants. And the Cowboys, and the Cowboys, and the Cowboys coaches, Mike McCarthy. Another Andy Reid. Another Andy Reid trade. Want to be? But it was all together. So, so what's our, what's our, what's our schedule? All right, so it's Washington football team week one. The Rams Mm -hmm. week two. Then the Bengals, 49ers. Oh, we got the Rams week two? Yeah. Where's that game at? It is. It doesn't matter, bro. Oh, first. Uh, home. All right. So good. week one We're is in Washington. Week one is in Washington. Week two is home. Week three, Cincinnati Bengals is home. Week four, the Forty ers in San Francisco. Week five, the Steelers home. Week six, Baltimore Ravens. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. Week five Steelers in Pittsburgh. Week five week, oh yeah, Steelers. Week six Baltimore Ravens home. Week seven New York Giants home. Week eight Dallas Cowboys home. Bye. Oh. Week ten Giants in New York. Week eleven Browns in Cleveland. Week twelve Seattle home. Week 13, Green Bay in Green Bay. Week 14, New Orleans home. New Orleans Saints home. Week 15, oh. Cardinals in Arizona. Week 16, Dallas in Dallas. Week 17, Washington football team home. So their first game of the season is Washington, and their last game of the season is Washington. Hmm. We'll see if they even makes it, bro. Our season, our season is gonna be determined like right around November. Like you said, we have back to back home games, right? Oh yeah. Um, Giants and Cowboys. You said. Yeah, I think it's just good. We got yeah, you got Ravens is home, Giants is home, Cowboys is home, and then you go to New York. All right, so right after that, that's gonna determine we'll. Where, where are we going to be at in the season? Because we got three straight home games, and then it gets tough for us at the end with the Saints and the and the, and the, uh, who Seahawks. else you say? Seahawks, yeah. another team we can't beat. Packers. Then we got the Packers, Cowboys, you know I mean? yeah. Cowboys again. Like and we got to we got to go on the road. We got to be damn near undefeated before we get to that stretch. You think they got a tough schedule this season? Hell oh. yeah. I think they do. But Hell I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. I think their schedule is pretty light in the beginning. They should win most of those games. You think so? Washington, Rams, Bengals, 49ers, Steelers, Ravens, Giants, Cowboys. Yeah, the 49ers are beat up. They got lost all their receivers. So I think we definitely can win that game. Uh, the Bengals are the Bengals. Well, they just got Des um, Bryant. Des Bryant just went to the 49ers. Yeah, they did get Des Bryant. Yeah? Well, the 49ers just went to the fucking championship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Super Bowl. Should have won it. The Super Bowl, yeah. Should have Kansas City. All right, all right. So I think we get we got like one loss before we before we get to that stretch. We beat San Francisco. 
Yeah, we beat San Fran. Yeah. We might lose that Ravens game. We might lose that Ravens game. All right, so that's the answer. So you think they're going to beat Washington? You think they're going to beat the Rams, the Bengals, the 49ers, the Steelers, and then you think they're going to lose to the Ravens? Yeah. We yeah. could definitely beat the Steelers. We always beat the Steelers. Fucking, yeah. And then yeah. we're going to get the and who and knows? It's, it's in Pittsburgh, too. Well, who knows? Nah, we beat the, We always beat the Steelers. Check it out. Yeah, at home. Yeah, this is in Pittsburgh. That well, Ravens yeah, game is going to be tough. That Ravens game is going to be tough because they're going to be running outside on the, like, outside the pocket on us. And that's that's going to be the challenge. Yeah, but who cares? That's just one game. That's with the pretend fans in the stands. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we need our fans too, man. Yeah, they're gonna have virtual fans. In the yeah. Man, you know how I many fucking field goals they don't miss and all types of shit. False starts because of the fans. I know. False start. False start. Well, oh, yeah. we, we won't we won't even be in the stadium. We'd be like, yo, they about to kick it. We go run and get a beer real fast. Yo, know, they call it a false start. <laughs> <laughs> they punting now. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Yeah, but Matt, uh, let's start. Uh, Matt and twenty one, they predicted Nick Foles to Nick Foles and the Bears to be fourteen and two, oh, and shit. they face the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl, and Nick Foles prevails. He's the Super Bowl MVP, and he wins it again. You hear that? So that was, that's what Matt said. You your beloved Nick Foles, but I know it doesn't. Yeah, well, I know it doesn't mean anything when he's not winning for the Eagles, though. Yeah, it doesn't. But I mean, Tone is like a Nick Foles hater, though. So I know. to hear Tone thinks Mitch Trubisky is going to be starting over Nick Foles. Yeah, we'll see. Nah, they, they got Nick Foles starting. They got Nick Foles starting. Like the net in predictions. Nick we'll Foles see. is starting. We'll see. And he's going to win another Super Bowl against we'll, Andy Reid. We will say. Me, 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 me and Jeff got a twenty dollar bet that this is Trubisky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all no, knew. Y'all yeah, said it no, on the show. Yeah, he no. did. He said Mitch is going to start. Yeah. Nick Foles is going to start. All right, we'll yeah, see. Mitch, you Mitch, guys put a dub Mitch, on it. He said Mitch. Yeah. He said Nick. We'll see. I'll, 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 I'll Trubisky's did, supposed to be riding the pine. Trubisky's supposed to be riding the pine week one. We'll see. We'll see who wins. You put a dub got, on I it. I got big, big Nick. Well, he just said. <laughs> Big Dick Nick was predicted to win another Super Bowl. Nick's predicted to be starting, huh? Against Andy Reid. I don't huh? see how his I don't see how his shoulders messed up, man. Not anymore. He, had he had surgery on that bitch and did physical therapy. <laughs> <laughs> he from that ain't physical no therapy. Nick. Ain't no Nick. Ain't no Nick. But yo, we gotta roll with him. You put it back in place with physical hey, therapy. Hey, Tony, hey, bro. Yeah. It's all good. We'll see what he does. We will see. We shall see. But, yo, man, we got to go, dog. Uh, Fucking hit me up tomorrow, man. I got to go to work in the morning, dog. All right, all right. I got you. All right, dog. Yo, thanks for calling. Uh, I'll hit you up. Keep me informed, whatever. You hit me up anytime. Come across any news. We still got got to go over some shit uh, later uh, tomorrow. So, we we'll just keep pumping this shit out until people start listening to us. Hey, we're getting some uh, new callers from out of state, so we're going to keep it going. Yeah, get that. All right, I hear you. Hit me up. All right, all right dog. All right, all right. All right. Come on. Hit, the, uh, hit some with the cash app and then you pay the bill. Ooh. Make sure you donate to the cash app. Cash app. Hit that button. Cash app button. Barber Shop Talk Radio. B A R. B E R S H O P T A L K R A D I O Barber Shop Talk Radio Cash App Barber Shop Talk Radio Cash Buy App Buy yourself a T-shirt 
Barbershop Talk Radio Store. Dot com. Don't forget to add it. S T O R E on the end. Barbershop Talk Radio Store. Store. Dot com. If you want to listen to us live, you can go on blogtalkradio.com backslash Y U N 9 S L I M 1 2 2 4. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, Barbershop Talk Radio. Also, follow us on YouTube, Y U N 9 space S L I M. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube, Y U N 9 space S L I M. We're trying to build our platform here, so make sure you subscribe and Donate to the cat. Hit that button for the cash app. Cash app. Cash app or buy a t-shirt. We'll see you all next time. Peace.